Hello and welcome to this edition of Omega Dawn, our fortnightly game of Star Frontiers Alpha Alpha Hawks. Um, most of the crew are here today. Say hello, crew. Hey. Hello. Um, we do have a couple of people away. Um, uh, Doc Perro's uh, players away. So Doc's being played by Dan. Is that right? Yep, I got him. You got him. And uh, and Jazz has Jazz has unfortunately got um, family family issues. So uh, Ben's taking over Jazz. Um, last time this happened, uh, we lost to our quarter of a million dollars worth of credits. You know, in uh, all, if I remember correctly. When did this happen? Uh, Was that the tank? No, that was pre-tank. Oh. That was back on Volturnus. I think when, uh, I, th I think Thomas was actually playing Jazz when we made that mistake. When you blew up uh, the ship? I don't. I don't, because I went back through the diary entries that uh, Cerise has been making on the forums, and I reread it, and it was definitely you. Ah, <laughs> uh, oops. Oops. <laughs> Why did you, you blow up your ship? No, no, no we, that was the point. critical fail with the heavy laser. That's right. And she made she made a critical success the the roll before I blew up a guard tower with a couple of combat robots, and then the next very next roll was a critical failure straight into a a, a storage shed with a quarter of a million dollars a quarter of a million credit worth of uh, worth of mined ore waiting to be shipped out and it turned into slag. Was that in the pirate base? Yeah, it was in the pirate base. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. But anyway, um, let's catch up on where we've been because it's been a couple it's been a week couple of weeks. Um, the uh, budget crew have been were hired by a reporter to uh, help her get a uh, rep uh, an interview with Jack Lagrange, uh, one of the um, uh, leading scientists uh, of the uh, frontier and also uh, somebody who railed against um, the Vrusk on his home planet. Uh, so they travelled. Everybody travelled down to. Uh, the planet, the Kratar, uh, in the uh, uh, and uh, uh, they got the interview. Uh, it, it finished on a very bad note, um, but uh, uh, as they uh, as the budget crew and everybody else was departing the shuttle at the Kratar spaceport, or actually the Goza City spaceport, um, a couple of Rusk executives who were on the starship with them um, threw a couple of grenades at Lagrange, uh, his bodyguards, uh, and unfortunately um, the budget crew's uh, uh, meal ticket, shall we say, uh, was also nearby. They all took fragment. They all took shrapnel from the fragment grenades. At the same time, uh, a ground car parked not that far away. Um, somebody opened up with a, 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 a laser rifle, sniper laser rifle. Um, and obviously, um, the whole the whole thing turned into chaos. Um, Lagrange, his two bodyguards, and um, the reporter were all killed. Um, the uh, budget crew took on the two Vrusk and quickly dispatched them in hand to hand combat. Well done, Babu. Um, meanwhile, uh, the sniper and obviously the sniper's driver took off uh, with Cerise in hot pursuit on a hover cycle. Um, unfortunately, the sniper did not make the turn onto the expressway uh, and looked like rolled the ground car and ended up wrapped around a pylon of the monorail, which also services the um, the uh, the, uh, the starport. Um, uh, security rounded everybody up, uh, basically for a quick questioning and things like that. During that process, um, the security, f uh, starport security, found out that the and customs found out that the visas and the initial uh, story that the the budget crew were using were false, um, and so uh, the uh, leader of the uh, or the inspector um, of the security uh, at the airport, at the starport, uh, a Rusk by the name of Relic Zekitkik, and I had 
terrible trouble pronouncing Rusk names, uh, made a deal with the group. Um, the whole planet's in unrest at the moment, and um, the, uh, there's a, a, a local terrorist group or freedom fighter, depending on whose side you're on, trying to get uh, humans, trying to get the Rusk off planet. Um, the planet's population consists mainly of humans and Rusks. There are very few Yazirians or Dralosite. There are some, but very few. Um, so um, there's been a few bombings and a few riots and that lately. And so the security chief asked uh, this group, the budget crew, to uh, under go in effect go undercover and try and find out what's you know what's going on and and prevent it and, and all the rest of it. So the budget crew agreed to this uh, in exchange for proper visas and not being thrown into jail or deported. Um, so they made their way out of the starport on the monorail uh, later that day uh, and the monorail, uh, they could see from the monorail um, that some riots had already begun. Um, the Vrusk security force, uh, who does have some human security members as well, came under heavy attack by rioters, uh, water cannon, um, smoke, pretty much what's happening in Hong Kong right now actually, come to think of it. Uh, that, you know, that level of violence is, 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 is what's been a Shy of automatic weapons, RPGs, being fired at yeah, the riot troops and the riot troops yeah, firing back with Sonic Devastator. Yeah, uh, a few other bits and pieces like that. Um, anyway, um, the monorail was shut down uh, and so the budget crew had to uh, move out onto the streets. They were making for uh, um, a, a, a more well-to-do area uh, in a hotel near a, near a hospital. Um, and um, they almost got swept up in a, into a riot. Kat sort of kind of did, but she was quite, uh, quite adept at talking her way out of it after a few moments. Um, and then... Uh, not far from the hospital, they came across a bunch of human thugs um, beating up on some rusks. Um, one of the rusks was, unco was unconscious and uh, the other one was uh, practically unconscious. Um, the group intervened, uh, beat up on some thugs and got them to retreat or knock them out uh, and then took the, the two rusk uh, civilians to the nearest hospital, which, as I said, was only a couple of blocks away. Um, there was quite a few people in the emergency room, human and Rusk, um, mainly with things like minor contusions, major contusions, a couple of broken bones, things like that. Um, the two Rusks were uh, taken away for treatment, and as Doc was treating the crew, in the emergency in the emergency room, the doctors, no, the actual hospital staff, noticed this and dragooned Doc into uh, coming and helping in general. Uh, some 18 hours later, Doc re-emerged, and the group, uh, now practically fully healed, um, went to a hotel recommended by one of the Rusks that they had they had rescued, uh, and it's so it's the morning of the second day of your arrival, or the morning after you arrived, um, most of you haven't had much sleep, and much sleep you have had has been um, in, in waiting room chairs, not in beds. Um, so what would you guys like to do? Well. Anyone? Uh-uh hop on the computers and figure out some information. Right. But that's not my job. Yeah, I think eventually, I mean, if we follow Doc's original plan, that was to get the in with the hospital so that we could pretend to be medical equipment supply dealers. I think we probably have that covered at this point, at least for this point in in time. Um, other than that, I think it's up to computer time. Cat, what do you think?
Cat, Ben? Ben? Okay. Well. Ben? Push the talk. No, not there. Don't know where he's got to. Well, why don't I reach out to the um, inspector? Yeah. And see if uh, he was able to pick up the leader of that group. And if he has any other leads for us at this point. All right. Um. At the moment, uh, the, the answer the answer is yes. He got to, he, he he did send some people to pick up the the three thugs. Um, he's not very happy that you beat them up so badly. Um, but he's got them, and no, he has no other. He has no other uh, other leads at this at this point in time. All so right. you back then. We're sorry, our violence yeah, not your standards. I need. Uh, can someone do a computer roll to find out information about Shomu mining? Yeah, I can do that. I just I'm putting you together all cool. of these little pieces at the moment, and uh, you've already done that. It's in the it's in the story section. Is it? Right there. That's it. Shomu mining. Oh, I didn't have that one. Where's the mining column? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, the Shomu uh, S H O M U mining. Yeah, yeah, Shomu is mining. Hang on, no, it's spelled it's spelled the same way as the mining colony. Oh, it's the mining Shomu's colony. Exploration. It's uh, no, well, there's Shomu's exploration, which you've already found out about, right? Yeah. And there's Shomu's mining company. You've already yeah, mining colony. You've already found out. Is there? If there's any more information out there, then it's not in the public. It's not in the public domain. Okay, so then the Shomu Mining Company is the mining colony? Uh, is the Shams Mining Colony? The exploration owns 30% of the mining colony. Because mm. I'm looking at Estroza Finance Co. Restricted and how they have shares in five different companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 sorry, which one? Estroza Finance Co. Restricted. Company Restricted. Restricted. Oh yeah. Oh, it uh, it has a different oh, mining that, company. Oh, sorry. It's, that's a different mining company. Sorry. Oh, I see. The names are just mismatched, uh, matched, and there's different percentages the here. Okay. Never mind. So if you go to the stories. Oh, okay. Astros have five. I I see it now. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So is that what you needed? That you're good? Yeah, I just need to make that connection. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. But there are, look, uh, there are obviously other information out there, but I mean. Um, some of it's some of it's public domain, some of it's not. Um, what you've been able to find so far, apart from that, the restricted one, has been um, public domain. But there's uh, there is other stuff out there that's not public domain. It would be, and there's other stuff out there that's still public domain. You haven't got, a, got you haven't cracked onto yet. So you know. Now our our interaction with computers for like information gathering is is purely just search term driven it's yeah there's no it's vague i'm trying to look for this kind of stuff like a a, a gather information type role no. does that really exist it, it's it's one to one kind of i'm looking for this exact thing okay no for this for this for this adventure yep um it's it's search term based not only is it search term based, but it's also location of terminal based. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay, because obviously, yep. obviously, for example, um, a stone of finance. Oh, let's let's take another one. Um, but there is going to be, there is going to be non-public domain information on certain organisations' computers, and so you'll need to be on those computers to get that information. It's it's not it's firewalled off okay yeah 
yeah, yeah. All right. So, for example, hypothetically, let's say uh, let's say um, you wanted some uh, information on the security company Rick's finances. You'd have to be on a Rick computer to do that. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's, or, it's it's and it's more of a so network based thing, not a. There might be like specific computers as well. Yes. Um, okay. Yes, correct. But the computers, just just to break you out of it, the not so much specific computers, but specific lands, as opposed to the the, the planet wide net. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, any 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 Rick computer, no matter where it, no matter where it is, would be on that VLAN or, or you know uh, that virtual local area network. So yeah. whether that's a Rick, whether that's a Rick computer at Rick headquarters, or a Rick computer at the Starport, because Rick are the security, and you'd like, you know, you think you'd be having office at, yeah. You know, so that type of idea. So you don't necessarily have to go to any particular place, but you've got to go to a place where you would like, you know, that type of thing. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I think. That's the thing that I'm struggling with the most. Like, it's clear that there's a problem to solve right now, but it's it's tricky. It's tricky for me to. I, I keep trying to bring real world stuff into it, and no, it's, it's an it's, it's an 80s not, RPGs. It's an 80s, <laughs> it's an 80s RPG. You got to think. Actually, to tell you the truth, in tell you the truth, right? Um, um, it's an 80s RPG, but it's it's got a. No, it's actually the computer systems are more 90s than 80s. Does that make sense? Um, I know. It, I know. When we're looking at it from the 2019, it doesn't look that way. But I'm looking at the. I'm looking at what I'm looking at here from a GM point of view, and I'm looking at some of the stuff I know the, in other adventures that we haven't tackled yet. And the idea of lands and firewalls and and all that does exist and will work that way. Um, and planetary wide, the planetary wide internet, and therefore the, the frontier wide um, ga galactic net, um, they do exist. But you got to think like you got you to think like 1995, not not like 2019. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, so yes, there are computers out there, or computer lands out there, with restricted information that is not available from the public from any terminal it's got you got to do it from inside the inside the network inside the firewall okay we were we able to get any information on ableman properties and omega holdings it certainly works um, it's in the story section if you are looking for it mate yeah there's there's not a lot of info in there it's very spartan um Cerise wants to try and reach out to um, Pan Galactic Hollow News, probably at its headquarters, asking for Charlotte's um, supervisor, who she reports uh, sure, to. Yeah, well, yeah, you'll be able to do that. That's um, if you pull up the, whoops, wrong one. If you pull up the uh, the plaza, the 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 Gors of City map. Um, that's obviously going to be in the dip, in the business district now. Just to be sh just to be sure we know where we all are, you guys are somewhere around here. I've just drawn on the map. Yeah. Right? Okay. Because that was the ter that terminal was the terminal you were aiming for. The one nearby. That yep. terminal yep. was the one you got shut down from. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, we've got um, about four kilometres, give or take, of w walking through riots and not getting killed. Uh, I think yeah, all the riots are over. No, the riots are still going on, but they tend to be more down in this di this district than yeah, they're in the slums. In that one, in the Jettis district. Yeah, yeah. All right. This district you're in here, the f the uh, Fidurst, Fidurst, this one, I can't pronounce it properly. That district is is middle to lower middle class um, that one up here is the upper class district and of course the business district is in the middle so the ge and then of course you've got the industrial district down to the to the south southeast yeah where uh, there's a few yeah, riots exactly. there as well there's a few riots there but most of the riots seem to be in the Jeddah district i mean i wouldn't go i wouldn't go wandering around too too close to the border because you know you're still riots still here. spill over um 
rights tend to spill over a bit. Yeah, that's right. So, so yeah. So just just dropping back to the computers for a second. Is there any information you were going to go after while I've got it up, or can I close it down? Uh, I think yeah, we have all of it. Yeah, I was I was going through all the story entries now, and I think yeah, there's no there's no loose ends from what we have now. Un Sorry, unless my racial comprehension would give me clues tying all this information. I mean, it all seems linked, but I, I can't draw conclusions from it. You know, is there one major parent company? Or maybe Babu no, could do a financial no. analysis oh, to oh, see. Sorry. Well, there's sorry, o o Omega Properties and, uh, no, Omega Holdings and Ableman Properties. They yeah. own, they share control of Astros of Finance and a of finance controls a lot of companies has shares in a lot of companies and then Ableman and Omega both have shares in other companies that it shows finance also has shares in I think that Gangreal Industries and Rajnaut Finance are probably something we can ignore but or also, they also happen to be on the same planet and same, yeah, same planet as Omega and o and uh, Able Man. Uh, try it. Well, try it. Don't get triads to send it. One of the one of the major uh, central central systems. Cassidy's one of the central systems of the of the frontier. Yeah, it is. How long um, ago did the uh... KLC violent. How long ago did the KLC get violent? Yeah, it says uh, a short time ago in our report. Um, about two and a half to three standard years. Uh, standard year being four hundred days. Right. So about a thousand days, thousand to twelve hundred days ago. If that makes any if that makes any help. Um. Oh, what about any of those weapons that were confiscated? Have we investigated those companies? Have we got? Um, I don't know whether you have or not. Oh yeah, we need to um. investigate the off-world trading company, uh, trade house. Uh, that would be... This slot. Yeah, that one. This slot. Yeah, this slot. Yeah, Astros of Finance has, uh, 24% shares in the trade house, actually, so... Oh. So, do you want to try and... Is that what you're going to do? Try look at look at Vizlat? Yeah, let's look at Vizlat. And I also don't remember the name of the weapons, the company that made the weapons. Rick. Weapons, the Stizor Arms, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's they right. are owned by Artemis Research and Astros of Finance. Artemis Research is owned by Astros of Finance, Omega Holdings, and one other company that is a minor one. And Omega owns shares in Astroza and Astro... Yeah, it... And Artemis. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've... Yeah. It all links back yeah, okay. to one another. Well, there seems to be some sort of web here, yes. That Stizor Arms is likely controlled because they have two 26% shares in companies that they have con they have mm. some control over. So Stizor Arms is likely controlled by Astros of Finance or whoever owns Astros of Finance. And the Bad. trade company is partially owned. So the weapons were, yeah. Mm. Well, There's if you're looking for the singular link... entity behind their off-world support, if you say so, or leads. Well, you... Yeah. Well, well, leads you can look at. All right. Um, um, you, 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 Vizlat. Obviously, you want to look at them. Um, you could look into the two Vrusk who threw the grenades. 
uh, for example. Um, they were from the class trading house. They're from yeah. You look at that trading house. There's another one you can look at. Um, obviously, yeah, obviously you could you could you could get a hold of. Um, obviously, you you could get a hold of. Um, 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 uh, um, um, the inspector. Sorry, I forgot his name. Um, and and see if see if anything on on uh, the uh, assassins um, and the the gunman anything's been turned up there. Um, that may yeah you, know, you might have to, there's a, there's a prime example of going either to Rick or to the spaceport <laughs> for that information. Um, didn't um, um, didn't the inspector he, say that the two Vrusk were actually from Rick? He did from memory, yeah. Um, you, could, you could executives. Say, no, yes. no, not two executives. Yeah, no, he didn't say they were from Rick. They were from the glass he company. Said, well, he that was the gunman, cover. No, he said the gunman and the gunman's driver, the guys who wiped themselves out in the car. Okay. He said they were from Rick. And so was that security bot that we maybe ran into? The its operator yeah, was true. Rick as well. Yeah, his operator was Rick as well. And, um, and, and you've got Q, and you've Q. got um, you've got your um, your uh, reporter from Pengal. So there's there's a couple of things you can look up uh, um, just to get you know just to. Yeah. Um, you want computer roles for those? Well. Um, I want a I, I want a computer role for the for the yeah I want computer roles one one after the other but I mean Kat you're the computer expert you have the best, the best chance of that yeah 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 uh, the the thing that I was just going to cover off before we go down that route was uh, yeah, yeah. does does Babu have an idea of whether this sort of web of companies financing each other and um, is normal or whether it's suspicious like is that something that Babu has knowledge of given his financial background. Or that depends on a financial role from Babu. Uh, because I, I, it feels like we're getting a bit caught up on that, and it, it would be good if Babu could just put our mind at ease. Um, it's not unusual for finance companies to own other companies. All right? This is what Babu comes up with. Yep. But this one seems just a little bit more complicated than it should be. And this it's, one... It's, 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 yeah. it's more complicated than usual, this web. Um, yeah. So, and yeah, this yeah. web has the weapons that were supplied to the terrorists and the ways to get the weapons to the terrorists, being the trade house, the off-world trading company. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, as I said, it's, it's, it's not unusual... For, for I said for places like you know some something like Estonia, um, Estonia Finance, they're a finance company. Of course, they're going to finance other companies, and they'll do that for a share of the profits, shares mm -hmm. of the company. But as I said, this one's just a li according to Babu, this is just a little bit more complex than usual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, Babs, do you have any anything like? Forensics or or to anything like that at all? No, I do. No, okay. Um, and as uh, far I as do have a bit of politics, so I don't yeah, know. Give me if that would, give me, yeah, yeah, uh, give me, give me a, po yeah, give me a politics roll too, please. Yeah, not no. Sorry, <laughs> you needed a pretty good <laughs> roll, and that wasn't good enough. Um, in answer to Doc Perro masquerading as Cerise or vice versa. <laughs> um, the rate. Look, you can give me a racial comprehensive co com comprehension role, um, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, um, trade houses and conglomerate. Yeah, you know, trade houses, uh, which seem to be the norm here on here here um, is. Um, one way of organising Rust society, obviously, um, conglomerates are another. Um, this planet seems to have seems to be more along the trade house route than the conglomerate route, um, 
and conglomerates in your experience conglomerate the, the rust conglomerates tend to operate under the same name or at least you know like for example um, rust accounting rust security yeah it, 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 it's the same name or, or it's a variation of the same name for the conglomerates in your in your uh, in your experience for rust conglomerates anyway does it answer does it help answer your question yep excellent so uh, did you want to do some uh, investigations and from which are uh, using a, a public a public terminal to do it from um, or the hotel the hotel terminal same thing yeah we may as well try the hotel it feels like we have to go back to the uh, to the uh, police station uh, to do some of this but I think looking into uh, we don't have because we don't have names on the Rick uh, employees that were assassins, right? No, you don't. So you're probably going to have to, as I said, go back either to uh, to the secure to to the Rick. Yeah, we can do some possibly. research on those two executive. That's one thing. Or back to the or back to the hotel, or back to the starport. They would have the information on that. Obviously, um, the Brusk executives is the most logical place. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute, Cerise. Uh, the most logical place would be uh, either um, uh, we would probably be uh, either their 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 company's headquarters. Um, yeah, um, or something on that. Yeah, uh, 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 or something on those lines, uh, for example. Um, uh, yeah, now, um, in answer to your question, questions about local news, um, but you want to make those rolls anyway, Kat, if you yep, want to do yeah. it from here? Yeah, well, we may as well do it from here. Um, it, that's not going to hurt. Right. It doesn't take a lot of time. No, it doesn't. Um, so, what do you want to, which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's look up the uh, execs and the, the glass house first. Okay, when you look up the glass house, uh, quick roll, thank you. Yeah, you're pretty much. Um, that's what you get. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Sorry. That's there what we you go. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Okay. My fault. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the, the we have seen that info before. So there's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, whatever, whatever anyway. you showed, I already had it up. So. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Uh, so that, that's what you get on on. That's what you get on the on uh, click clack, click hack, yep. click hack. Oh god, I hate Rusk names. Yeah, yeah, it's I fine. Tell you, I tell you, I might rewrite, I might rewrite this entire adventure and get rid of the names. Um, yeah. So that's what you get on. That's what you get on click hack. Okay. Look at um, Rick. Um, yeah. Hey. I, I I suspect that when we look at Rick, we're going to get the same page, but let, let's do it anyway. Yeah. Again, this is public information. You don't. All you're getting is public information, and yes, you get the same page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because this, this, this is this is public information. Um. Uh. The, the, the what was the other? You're going to look up the Brusk executives. How are you going to look those? Look that up. What search term were you going to use? See yeah, if well, the local news has the names. Yeah. Or ask the uh, inspector to. Hang on. Yeah. I, I mean. Okay. Uh. Let me pull up today. Um, no, um, it's it's by now. I mean, considering you guys must have grabbed a couple of hours sleep and things like that, we'll, we'll, we'll call it around about midday, early afternoon. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Um, so you flip the TV on, or you flip the HD on, or the or the treat on, flip the treat on. Um, um, and um, there's uh, obviously the major ca yeah, the news channels ca is covering um, uh, the riots. The, the, they seem to be dying down somewhat, but they, but you know they're still talking about people dying and um, uh, Rick starting to bring the bring the rioting under control. Um, um, and then all of a sudden the T the HD the tree just goes staticky for a second. And then when it comes back on, there's uh, a human 
uh, dressed in um, uh, urban camouflage combat fatigues uh, with a, a full mask uh, balaclava, so only the nose and mouth showing. Uh, and he and he starts to speak or, or read from a prepared statement. Yesterday, brave soldiers of the Vrust Protection Force struck a glorious blow for the freedom of all... Uh, did you just say yes. Vrust Protection yes. Force? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yesterday, brave soldiers of the Vrust Protection Force struck a glorious blow for the freedom of all Vrust on Kratar. The vile, soft-skinned Jack Larange was eradicated as he stepped onto our planet. Others of his kind, unfortunately, survived the attack. In the future, all soft skins will be driven from Kratar. This planet is ours, and all lesser life forms will be destroyed. But that was a human face. That was a human figure. Reading that. Huh. Look up the Vrusk Protection Force. Hang on a sec. I wonder if I rolled it the right way. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Wow, Kat, you're being consistently below average today. 52, 58, and 53. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, where is it? I can't find it. That's a display information role you're doing there, aren't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. DPS. Yeah, good. No, that's a computer. Uh, that's a computer. You're doing a computer operate, aren't you? Oh, uh, my display info is 133. So. Oh, okay. If if it was the display info, does that mean that uh, non-computer people can't even do that, or does that get rolled into the operate computer generic thing? No, 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 no. You need an operate computer to operate the computer. Then you need, then you should be doing a display inf info for each information role. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. So you okay. got to log on, then you got to do your query. Yeah, you got to log on and operate. The guys, the the, the operate com the, the, the the people need to do an operate computer anyway, just because to do it, to, to to get to get the system up and running and use the icons and things like that. But um, uh, for, yeah, but you need but the display info is actually learning how to do a pr search properly using you know, everything that they can do. That's gotcha. what you get. Nice. Um, that's not unexpected. No um, info. Well, who was that you were looking on? That was the that VPF. Was <laughs> yeah. You could have just said nothing, Matt. You could have said there's no, no, no info. No, 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 no. I had to go and check to make sure I didn't have anything. Look, yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Yeah. Well, instead of you um, know sharing uh, with us something that just says no info, you could you know. Oh, I see. That's what you're going to just show us every single time to say, no, you're wrong. Got it. Yeah. It's a computer. Um, so, yeah, so that's the... Um, uh, th that comes on the TV, uh, on, the, on, the, on the vid. And then the vid... Uh, and, then the, and then once that statement has been uh, delivered, the, 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 the tree gets that same static again. And uh, the new, the regular news is is turned back on. Um, now, anyone with any sort of electronics, which would be a technician. Indeed. Yes. Um, do I need to use? Do I need to use my laser welder? No, you don't need to use your laser welder. God damn it! You didn't. Do you need my flat stick? 
No, I don't need anything. Just, just, just chill for a second, will you? Yeah, there it is. Can you give me a? Uh, can you give me a? Uh, for any, anyone, anyone with technician operate or technician sabotage, uh, in, yeah, anyone who's a technician, can you give me a average of your operate and sabotage roles, please? Oh, Just to make it interesting. Be, be math. So, Cerise, uh, you realise that um, that transmission would have, as, as does both, that transmission would have had to or have um, overridden the um, regular broadcast um, and that means it would have had to have happened uh, at the transmission source, um, or, or or very close to the transmission source. Okay. And as the tree would have come through the net, um, that's a hardwired source. Can I uh, look up where the address that would be? Yeah, does the electronics actually, company, actually. the electronics trade house, manage that? There isn't an electronics trade house. Yes, sir. Sorry, I refresh. Oh, let me refresh my. Uh, GGF. Yeah. No, they sell electronics. Oh. Okay. And make electronics. They don't, they're not the broadcaster. Okay. So that's a minor trade house that does it then, or some independent company. It is. Yeah. It'll be a minor trade house or an individual. An individual. And and and. Cerise realizes this straight away. Um, that would, yeah, based on her knowledge of her, the Rust culture, it would be a minor trade house or an independent company, which is practically the same thing. Um, how do you find that out? Well, you could always ask the computer. Yeah, it was either that or call up our policeman friend because we needed to call him up anyway to see if he had names for us. Uh, yeah, and we, we do. We do have his number. Yeah, I think yeah. we could. You'd we should do that instead of wasting our time. We can just ask him. Instead of wasting our time on the computer, ask. So you're gonna waste his time? Yeah, we're gonna waste his time. <laughs> well, no. we had to waste his time anyway. <laughs> Let's get a list of things we've got to talk to him about if we're gonna call him. Let's not just call him each time that we come up with a new question. Uh, the executive. We need to know about the executives, the rust protection. Okay, so. Well, okay. So you guys, ask the computer. Hang, 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 hang. Why don't you ask the you computer guys, who does the network? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you guys, you guys, let me let me just make it. You guys know, or you guys got the distinct impression that that Inspector Tikik is was not going. Yeah, he didn't want to hear from you very often. It was only when you had something important to report to him. He was not going to be. And this was, and I told you guys this last time we played. He's not going to be your, your. Um, uh, uh, he's not going to do the legwork for you. You've got to do your own legwork, okay? Yeah. Okay. So we don't know the dead executives. We don't know about the VPF. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find anything about the broadcasting company. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So if it, I, I I had forgotten that that he was less hopeful than I had hoped. No, that's uh, okay. That's why I'm just reminding you. It's yeah, no, no okay. issue. So, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Kat will do a, a look for... I don't know what she's looking for, but she'd be looking for minor trade houses to figure out whether... Uh, who t does the broadcasting. Uh, uh, well, why don't, why, don't you, why don't you refine it? Why don't you refine your search down to which, which, which house does the broadcast... Which houses do the broad do? Do TV broadcasting? Okay, so we can we can we can search for kind of vague things. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can search for kind of vague things. It's just yeah. You know, um, 
depends on, again, whether you're on a public terminal and you're after public information or you, if you're on a, a particular inside a firewall looking for specific information. It depends. Yeah, Yeah. I in my head, I, I had narrowed it down to I can only ask for nouns, uh, but no, it sounds no, no, like no, it's, no, a, it's no. a little bit looser it's than a little that. Bit okay. No, a little bit looser yeah. than that, mate. I'm not, I'm not that much of a prick. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, who, wh who does the broadcasting and where are their okay. headquarters? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, there, uh, it turn yes, it turns out there is only one one house that does all the broadcasting in the city. Um, it's Sizlachikir. Uh, let me let me let me type that into the chat box so you can get the C A A Q. Oh, I hate rust names and commonly known in the brackets. Okay, uh, it's the only news. It's the only news service trade a house on Qatar, um, and they have a head. They have an. Uh, they have a, uh, a headquarters and transmit from uh, the business district, um, and you get an address and you get a Google's map to where <laughs> all the effectively are the same thing to where they are. Okay, doesn't yep. actually matter where they are, but you know, um, where they. Well, are. just what um, district? It, Sorry, in the business district. In the business okay. district. And um, uh, in a, oh, sorry, you go. You go. I was going to say. Um, also, you asked me about the monorail. Yes, the monorail is is running, um, but it's but it's still closed down in the, in the Jebedis, um and industrial districts. So you're going to have to, if you're gonna, if you're going to take the monorail into the business district, you're going to have to go up, uh, do a loop up through, up through uh, Fidurst and then across, uh, because the the the, the yeah. Uh, Either we take the long way, or we just walk, or take a taxi, uh, or take a taxi. Um, the other thing is, um, uh, you also note that um, the uh, even though the Jebus district stations are closed, the monorail is running all the way to the starport. Oh, okay. So we we could get to the starport if we needed to. Okay. Yeah, cool. uh, without uh, yeah, without crossing Jebus on foot, or you could cross it on foot. Or by taxi if you wanted to go by taxi. Oh, so basically it it goes non-stop to the starport, but it doesn't stop inside the district. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. This this station here. This station here. Yeah. And this station here are the last ones that are open. Got it. Okay. All right, and the starport plus all the stations north of those. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, what would you guys like to do? Well, do we want to go investigate the broadcasting trade house? Do we want to go? Pan Galactic. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to, you know, send a message to the Hollow News about their lady being dead and about our payment, along with the video. Uh, but and you and Pan Galactic Hollow News is some as as somebody somebody said. Yes. Do they have an office in the business district? district? They don't have an office here at all. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, in the business district. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah, then we can go there. I think we should go there, because we still have that video for them. Yeah, let's go there first. Yeah. And then they might be able to give us some leads about the about SAK. All right, give me a second. Though, you know, there's the chance that SAK has been taken over by hostile forces, but I doubt that. I'm looking for a gunfight. Oh wait, we don't have our rifles, damn it. No rifles but pistols. And non lethal grenades. So anyway. Um Yeah, I wouldn't go handing over that tape just yet if I were you. Well. Well it's leverage, if nothing else. Yeah, I know, but 
maybe yeah, get our payment and get up until we need it. Anyway, so um, you taking the monorail? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, knock a credit off your your um, knock a credit off your money, please, for the daily tr the daily ticket. Okay. It's really okay, painful so to take one credit off of our credit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it. That's what it is, mate. Sorry. Anyway, so you um, head out, uh, and uh, the monorail heads up through uh, the third Earth district. Um, it's a typical. The, the cities. It, it's a typical city um, of um, the frontier. Um, there's obviously um, a lot of Rusk influence on the architecture. But there's human there's human influence on it as well. Um, anyway, you uh, you make it into uh, that terminal there without too much trouble. Um, you see humans and rust going about their daily business. There's not much you know else mucking around going on. Um, there's quite a few as you were travelling through the the, the Fidesz district. Um, you you notice quite a few Rusk and humans and that milling about, having a bit of a, a lazy day because because a lot of the factories were closed because of the riots further down. But there were there were no. Th th I mean, there were humans and Rusk hanging out with each other. You know, um, you passed a couple of parks and there were Rusk kids playing with human kids playing with Dravalosite. Yeah, you know, perfectly normal. Nothing. You know. So up this end of the city, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, the business district is um, possibly just slightly quieter than you would have expected, but without too much uh, trouble, um, you exit the monorail and walk the couple of blocks or so it takes to get um, to Pangalactic Hollow News. Um, it's an unimposing building. It's only about 10 stories tall. Uh, um, um, it's a little bit on the old side. Um, you, you suspect that um, not too much, not too many years from now, they're going. It'll be knocked down and replaced with one of the um, one of the uh, skyscrapers, uh, which dominate the the city. But even the skyscrapers are only skyscrapers. Yeah, they're 30, 40, 50, 60 stories tall. They're not 100, 200, 300 stories tall like they would be back on. Um, Back in Madley, uh, back in um, you know Madley Star or Prangla or anywhere else like that, um, there is a uh, a Rusk uh, with a um, um, a security sash um, with Rick on it at the door. Um, he doesn't seem to be stopping anyone from going in or out though. Um, what do you guys want to do? Is the whole building for Pan Galactic Hollow News, or just? Yeah. You, well, you're unsure. I mean, it, 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 Pan Galactic Hollow News have have the naming rights on the building. Uh, whether the entire ten stories are in use or not, who knows? Is there a receptionist, or just the security guard at the bottom? No, the security guard out standing outside on the on the on the pavement on the outside, um, looking through the glass walls and glass doors of the ground floor. You can see. A security. Uh, you can't see a reception desk. Yeah, so go into the reception. <coughs> All right. Um, a human female uh, looks up at you and goes, "Yes, can I help you?" Um, yes, yeah. we need to speak to uh, one of your uh, uh, reporters' uh, editors. We have uh, some dire news regarding one of your journalists. Oh, you mean? Um, hang on, sorry. Hold. Oh, you you mean Charlotte Comets? Yes. Yes, tragedy. She was killed yesterday at the um, at the star at the starport. Yes, we need to speak to her supervisor. Well, she doesn't have a supervisor here. She wasn't based here in uh, Gorzor City. She was based off-world. Correct, but I'm sure that there's uh, 
an appropriate manager here that we could talk to here. And you say you have some information about her? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see if I can get someone for you. Uh, by and the way, she, uh, uh, if just so I'm not misremembering, Kat has a copy of this video, right? There's yes, a, there's, a you do. there's a duplicate, so handing it over doesn't mean that we lose our leverage. Uh, yeah, but right? leverage, leverage, leverage shared is leverage halved. True, true, true. Um, but yes, you have a copy on your on your. Um, you've got file a comp. you've got a uh, file comp, yeah. <coughs> um, so anyway, the receptionist she makes a, she, she makes a, uh, a, a an internal phone call. Well, you assume it's an internal phone call. Um, and speak softly. Just you can't hear what she's saying, but she looks up and glances at you lot a couple of times, and then and then she nods ahead ha and appears to hang up. Turns back to you and says, "If you just care to wait, uh, just over uh, over here." And she points to a couple of lounge chairs around a um, a small coffee table. Um, uh, Mr. Kakik will be down in a second. Thank you. Um, is it as so fancy as the CDC coffee table? No. Aww. So a few moments later, maybe five to ten minutes later, um, a Vrusk approaches a Vrusk approaches you, and says, uh, "My name is um, hang on, my name is Salakukuka Kakik. I hate Vrusk names." Um, I understand you wanted to talk to somebody about Miss Comets. Um, yes, we uh, traveled with her in her employ on her trip here and uh, probably should discuss further somewhere a little more reserved. You say you traveled here with her on the dawn? Yes, we did. She was our employer. I see. I have no knowledge of this. But yes, I think it might be an idea if we spoke in private. If you'd care to come this way? Absolutely. Now, and he leads you um, down in around behind um, a bank of lifts to uh, a ground floor uh, conference room, I suppose you'd call it. Please, take a seat, he says, as he takes his own at the head of the conference table. All right. So, what can you tell me? I mean, how did you meet Miss Comets? What was the employment arrangement that she had with you? Basically, please, tell me everything you know. Uh, what planet were we on before? Um, where did where, where we start from? Uh, you started yeah. from... Uh, that doesn't... Oh, well. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Wherever the CDC headquarters was. Yeah. Oh, Cassidy, well, I meant. Yeah, she, Cassidy. She, she approached us there to help help uh, her with a uh, piece she was working on, and um, that brought us here. And it had to do with uh, Mr. Lagrange. Oh, I see. I see. Any particular reason why Charlotte was interested in Lagrange? Other than his um, notoriety and interesting uh, political views here regarding Qatar, um, I could only speculate at this time. Then please speculate. I suspect she had links uh, tying Lagrange to the KLC. Uh, well, there's no evidence of that. Um, and Lagrange hasn't been back on planet for close to 30 years. So um, I don't see how that would be applicable in that regard. You asked me to speculate, and yes. though no, he may no, not have, uh, you may so he may not have been back here on thirty years. He made a statement, a public statement, 
relative to Kratar prior to his boarding a ship and coming here. And then he was assassinated uh... as soon as he arrived here. It still doesn't mean he had ties to KLC. I did see that. Uh, I did see that um, uh, that speech of his. Um, rather inflammatory, actually. Agreed. Um, still, as I said, there's, there is no uh, no evidence at all. Charlotte was a little bit of a um, Charlotte had a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a, uh, a conspiracy theory, theorist. Still, so, so she said you. You said she employed you. We had an agreement uh, for five thousand credits. Yes, well, legally, without some sort of uh, signed contract, um, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, Did I'm we not get anything from her? Nope, you didn't ask. It was all a handshake deal. That sounds about right. We would have uh, the... Uh, well, we, we did agree to do the job in a bar. Hang on, guys. Guys, guys, one at a time. Ben? Um, what was I saying? Uh, do we, would we have copies of the dodgy uh, visa? Or did that kind of get destroyed when our uh, no, that was inspector friend... Yeah, that yeah, was okay. confiscated by inspector friend. Fair. So we we actually have zero proof that of this relationship. Yeah. Nice. Apart yeah, cool. from apart from the video, <laughs> apart from the video. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. and, and in fact, not not even the video because you guys weren't on the video. It wasn't you. It was Lagrange and uh, you know you were you were you were the cameraman and the operator and things like that. So not even not even the video. Yeah. You have yeah. no proof except for the video. We could have just stolen that. It doesn't actually and mean that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We have our tickets, though, that prove we were on the same ship as her. No, you don't. No, we, don't. we lost our tickets, too. Well, they were forgeries. You got it. You, you, well, not forgeries. You got there on false pretenses. Um, um, boarding passes, inspector. God damn it! No, the inspector's got all of that. It, how do you think he's going to make sure you do what he wants you to do? Yeah, we can't even leave this planet until he signs off on it, so we, we're, we're pretty right. screwed here. <laughs> yeah, you are. In that, reg in that regard. <laughs> no, you, you're over a barrel. If you're lucky, so and, and, and this is the adult part of this, this um, football cast, you're over a barrel. You're, if you're lucky, you'll get a, you'll get a reach around, okay? So nice. Looking around the re room at the rest of the folks here, can I tell if they want us to go further, or if they want to keep, or or not? Well, it's up to you guys. Do you want to? Go? I mean, yeah, without. I don't. Yeah. I mean, we hold on to it. What are we going to use it for? Yeah, I, I think this is where we use it. So, looking at him, I'll say, well, I'm sure your reporters have to deal with. Uh, make many, many deals on a handshake and not with legal documents. And I'm sure Hollow News has to back them up just to ensure their credibility. So I'm not worried about you honoring the deal, but I can see your perspective as well. And we do have, we do have some of her interview that she obtained with Mr. Lagrange. Really? And I suppose you'd be willing to hand that interview, that footage over for an appropriate compensation? It was the uh, last interview that your reporter gave with the last interview of a man who just won a prize. And uh, who knows, maybe is caught up in some sort of Nefarious dealings. Who's also Seems dead? Quite the right. valuable footage. Can you give me a persuasion roll, please? Or personality roll, I should say. Sure. That one's really going to go over well. Hey? What's your personality? Oh, yeah, no. How do I know the? Uh, how do I know it's not fake? There's I been plenty of footage of 
Charlotte. There's been plenty of footage of Lagrange over the years. I'm sure your analysts are quite good at analyzing that. It was also taken with Charlotte's equipment. Which is currently confiscated by Rick out at the starport. How did, you, sure manage to, how did you manage to get the tape? She it's not uh, tape, it's gave it to us for safekeeping. That was one of our duties she hired us for. Give me another persuasion role, a personality role, please. That's better. Do you have the footage with you? I don't see any we reason not safe. to lie. That is our, what we were hired to do. Do you have the footage with you? Yes, we do. May I see it? Yeah. I mean, what's he going to do with it? I mean, is, this a, is, it, is there a place that we can play it here without giving it over? Yeah, yeah, it's a projector. It's a conference room. It's a projector nearby. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, we'll put it in the projector. And right, give we'll, me an operate we'll machinery roll, please. Well. Give me an operate machinery roll, please. Operate machine. <laughs> I don't believe you pulled that off <laughs> with that roll. Um... Okay, so uh, the footage is put. You put the footage in. Um, yeah, there a trid, a trid system at the end of the conference room uh, lights up, and you get the uh, thirty thirty five minutes of interview uh, that you guys recorded um, throughout the throughout the viewing. Um, the editor uh, says nothing until uh, eventually it's finished. Uh, the the recording ends. The lights come back up. And he turns around and says, I see. And how much do you want for that? Mm. Should we ask, like, how much are they willing to pay? Or should we well, just say 5000 We We certainly want the agreement that we had with Charlotte to be honored. But we also... <coughs> We also are looking for um, to 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 dig a little deeper of, on this on our own, and uh, an organization such as yours would be able to help us do that. So what you're saying is you want five thousand credits plus um, some help. Is that correct? Yes. That's well, right. you help us, and we'll help you with anything that we find that we can of course share with you what do you mean well, well if, if we find if an we interesting find story, story we we'll could it send it your way with the information we'll that you give us are you in are you actively looking for stories like that well yes, ever since you know uh what was her name Kath Charlotte. Charlotte. Charletta, actually. Ever since Charletta Charlotte. died, we, uh, we, we've been wanting to figure out more of why and, you know, about this planet and just figure out everything going on and well, get some obvious. answers as to why. Well, it's pretty obvious. Uh, certain elements, um... Or amongst the Vrusk and human populations don't like each other. Small elements, admittedly, but elements nevertheless. Um, and uh, one element decided to take out a bigot, or who they thought was a bigot. Not much else to it, really. I think the uh, the thing that uh, the, the the thing that interests us is uh, that there seems to be big momentum behind uh, the uh, the KLC, and we we can't really we can't really see why. I mean, it seems like humans and Varus are actually living quite peacefully together, and we don't know where the where the impetus of this sort of rebellion is coming from. And we 
I'm just feeling like we should get to the bottom of it. I'm not saying out loud well, that we have to, uh, but... <laughs> yes, the KLC, interesting. They, uh, they were a minor nuisance, really, for years. In the last three years or so, they seem to have stepped up their game somewhat. Prior to three years ago, did they have off-world support? Um, nobody knows. They have it now. Oh yes. How do you uh, how do you figure that? How else do you get assault rifles and rocket launchers? You did not. We saw the riots mm. yesterday. All of yeah, the riding true. crowds came automatic rifle fire and rockets, RPGs. Yes. And I yes. don't think they broke into any armory recently, so that well, had to we, come. We well, also know that the security services here have, have confiscated shipments, off-world shipments that were headed to the KLC. Yes, yes. All right. I'll pay you $5,000 for the footage. All right. And um, I expect... I expect you to, uh, I expect to be the only buyer of the footage. I'll also, uh, we'll also uh, keep an eye out and if we hear anything you can contact, um, I'll contact you on, uh, if, if anything comes up and I will uh, expect you to contact me if anything comes up uh, and I expect the exclusive story of anything that comes up which we will pay you for. Do Agreed. we have a deal? You'll always Would have you like first right to all the information that we get and we won't sell the we won't sell those the interview elsewhere. The other thing we're going to need is access to your computer so we can do more research. What type of research? on the various leads and the companies that we've identified that are associated with the KLC. I'm sure your network has much more information than uh, the public network has. Possibly, but only under supervision. Sounds fair. No problem. All right. I suppose you'd like to get started straight away, would you? What one question before we we wrap up and uh, go towards the computer? Uh, on the on our travels in, uh, we saw an explosion at the mining colony. Uh, are you guys covering that story? Do you, do you have any information on that? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, there was an industrial accident, and the entire mining colony was wiped out. Any uh, hints of espionage and sabotage there, or no? Does it no, it was a it was a it was a genuine accident, um, um, which is a massive tragedy. But um, yes, did it go nuclear? Uh, we're actually going to do that report on tonight's uh, on tonight's news. Hmm. And no, we don't transmit ourselves. We have a uh, an, a deal uh, with um, SOC, SAC. Sorry, my fault. We have a deal with uh, with SAC uh, to uh, to um, uh, they they tra they they they're the they're the broadcaster. Uh, have sole license to be the broadcaster here in uh, Gorzov City, so we uh, we cut a deal with them. They, uh, they carry a channel of ours. Um, Speaking of so SAC, yeah. <laughs> who overrode their transmission this morning? How was that done? Uh, I have no information on that. And apart from the fact it was done, you'd have to talk to the SAC executives. Perhaps you could uh, give us a, an introduction? Yes, yeah, all right. I think I could do that. Wonderful. 
So then if we can get the introduction and uh, access to the computer networks so we can do some research. Certainly. And since you like paperwork, should we put this, this agreement on paper or is a handshake good enough for you? A handshake's good enough for me. All right, then we'll take those credits. <laughs> yes, I thought you might. Uh, anyway, he uh, he pulls out a um, a mini comp um, and uh, does a credit transfer of five thousand credits to you. We should have asked for six. It. Would and hold, hold that his, and holds out his hand for the chip. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it chip. to him. Good. Um, who wants to do the math? Uh, it's eight hundred thirty-three point three 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 credits each. Eight hundred thirty-three credits each. Yeah. Who gets the extra credit? Vote or two credits, actually, hopefully. would be. Hey? Give it the vote for doing the math so quickly. <laughs> oh, I get, oh, I get my past two days fare back. Wow, that's yeah, fantastic. Hey, if, you, if you don't want it... <laughs> I'll, no, I'll take it. You can have it, Vogue. You still mm -hmm. have a loan out to me. Do I? I thought I paid you back. Not my bookkeeping. All right, so... Um, what do you want to look up on the computer? Hang on, I'm just doing credits on Jazz oh, and Cat's inventory. Uh, sorry, mate. I need more information on Mega Holding. The first, thing, I'd just go through all the topics that we looked at before, see if they have any additional information on any of those. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that seems fair. Especially so Estranza Finance and yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. But I would just go through all the all the topics, and see if they have any additional information to them. Yeah. So all the re all the companies. Except we don't need Pan Galactic Hollow News. But yeah, all the holding companies, Jack Luker Hodge, KLC, etc. Trojan Enterprises, the award, the Rust Protection Force. The yeah, they Trojan might have Enterprise articles on the on, KLC, on that kind of stuff. DL. Yeah, the individual trade houses they might have information on. Trojan company from Trojan Enterprises. That was uh, Jack Lagrange's company. Ah, uh, okay. All of this information kind of uh, filtered out from his company and the mining colony, right? Like that's that's where everything started. Uh, pretty Just... much. I think Steiser Arms came from the inspector. Yeah, we looked up the um, yeah, okay. we looked up the uh, mining comp the uh, mining colony. Uh, on the starship, and then everything took off from there, and we researched all the other names. Yeah. Except for Stizor Arms. We did not get that. Yeah, that came Dude. from the inspector. I really should put this in a mind map or something so I can see the graph. Here's the owner's trail. If you want to look on notes. Ah, uh, cool. Matt, were you looking something up, or? Nope, there was all that information there and what we were given on the PDF. Cool. And like I say, Omega Holdings, the only one that we don't have real information on. 
but we also know like you know some computer systems will have restricted access more information than what yeah well i mean omega holdings and able man properties are the two parent companies of estroza finance yeah so they're going to be pretty vague that we have no information on at the but moment through them you own pretty much artemis and artemis yeah they own artemis and own Stizor. yeah basically so through it looks like they're almost shell companies so one of the parent companies and Estroza Finance, they basically own Shams Exploration and Artemis Research. And Artemis Research and that Exploration have shares in a lot of other companies. Including like the mining colony. Now, was it the mining colony that just had the accident? Yeah, that got wiped out. Yeah. And the the we'll just we'll just call it the yeah we'll just say it shows the finance for now. Basically, owns fifty seven percent of the mining colony. indirectly owns 57% of it. Uh, yeah, you could say that, but you could also say that someone in Able Man or Omega holding, depending on where they're coming from. Yeah, I know. It, it's, it. it's, there's that one, there's one entity or two entities there's the two parent companies, and then there's a Stroza Finance. Streel owns them all. Maybe I have Streel no does. Of that. I have no evidence of that, but I'm convinced. Guys, 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 guys. Just yeah, recheck yeah. your Stroza Finance Company restricted document because I had a typo in it. Yeah, okay. Did what was the typo? In the colony. Ah, yeah, the Shomu mining. Yeah, you fits that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was what I got after you at for earlier. Sorry about that. I do apologize. You gonna update the smokes mining colony to smokes mining? Hey, what? Or is that a different entity in itself? The Schultz the Schmantz, Schmantz mining colony and Schmantz mining is the same, I believe. They are. Well, we can't edit it. It's yours. No, I know. Uh, but we, we got the... That help? Hang on. That help? Well, I mean, that's not how you spell colony, but okay. Oh, for God's sake. No, it's not either. Too many E's. It's an Australian thing. Yeah. And the uh, the share sense. percentages are also inconsistent. One's 16, the other's 15%. Yeah, it should be 15. That was, again, another typo. I'm just That's bringing these up one at a time just to annoy you. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yeah. That way, when you ask anything else, I can say yes. No, there's no streel there anyway. Cerise is apparently wrong. still convinced it's always Streel. <laughs> it is. Streel and Satha. <laughs> Streel apparently owns Ableman Properties and Omega Holdings for some reason. Oh no. Uh, yeah, is your website up, Matt? Uh, should be. Yeah, I'm having problems getting in. With the latest Chrome update, whenever I delete the mm. S in HTTPS, uh, it auto... It puts it puts back, back automatically. In. Yeah, I know. I've been tr I've been working on that the last week to try and get that so to try and get the that store sorted. I'm still having trouble with Lex Encrypt. So if there is a way, right, to get rid of that. You basically have to go like reset. Yeah, so uh, we can figure that out later. Log into all your passwords and all we that. We can again. figure that one out later. Yeah. Well, if I get the bloody Lex Encrypt working properly, it shouldn't make a, it shouldn't mean it shouldn't make a difference. It shouldn't it should c c fix the problem. That's just something I'm working. I've been working on. It's just you know, 
Yeah, I couldn't good. work on it today. I couldn't work on it today for some strange reason. I don't know why. Yeah. You know. Anywho, um, so what do you want to look up? So all of all everything that you've already shared to us story wise. See if they have any more information on any of those, except for Pan Galactic Hollow News. We don't need to look up them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rolls, please, Cat. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I want Come even more. Operate. I want information Starting. on L info though. Wait, 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 wait. Starting with an operate computer roll, then fifteen. It gave you information, Ross. Yeah, just start at the top. Okay, you're in. Come on, I only have 12. You can just spam the button, it does not matter. Let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 13, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No critical fails? Nope. No. Two more. Actually, yeah, that stopped there. Okay. Uh, no, nothing extra amongst any of that. Um, there is the information. There is an entry for on the commercial council. If you're interested, yeah, sure. Again, one one last one then, please, Cat. Also, the um, the trade houses. Not all of them, but the glass, the security, the transport. Or starport, I mean. Well, probably transport and starport if they have separate entries. Nope. All the all entries they, entries they have is on the Brust Trade Houses. So those are the two pieces of information which I just shared with you again uh, is what you have. And uh, this computer here doesn't have notes on the mining colony accident or anything like that. Like, uh, only, is that the, uh, only the stuff you've already seen. Okay. That stuff. Yeah, 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 okay. So that that means that this computer doesn't really have uh, reporter notes or anything in it then? No, it's more no. like of their past articles and just, you know... Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more of an archive machine than a, than a current a current working machine in that regard. Gotcha. What about the commercial council, who the current representatives are? Uh, yeah, the current representatives are the six main trade houses um, and a couple of minor ones which you don't recognize. But do they have, na do they have names of individuals? Uh, like the individual council letters. members? No. <laughs> okay. No, they don't. That information would have to be found from the commercial council itself, I suppose. Okay. So again, this reads like general public information. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing um, too restricted amongst all of it. You know, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Maybe we got to go back to the Starport computer. That one seemed to have some juicy information. <laughs> yeah, it's a pos it's a possibility. Um, that or yeah, there you go with it all. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled to go in there. What, the starport? Why not? Yeah, just visit Too the security to the office and top on one of their computers. So what about well, the you, inner... Well, the computer council, you could go to the computer council if you wanted to. The corporate council, you could also, don't forget you've got ClickAck you wanted to check out and you also wanted to check out SAC. 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 That's right, the first time. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to get... Yeah. Cool, cool. I think going to SAC is probably our next port of call. Okay. 
yeah you give an intro you give an intro, a, a quick a quick um, a paper intro like a letter cool uh, do you, you know, sorry do you mean my voice or your voice series his voice <laughs> yeah no I gathered that so um, it's only a couple of blocks walk to sack if you want to walk there yeah may as well all right so oh, um, yeah. the sack building the sack building um, uh, is not a building it's actually a, a one of the mega high-rises um, there's a uh, again a Rick security guy um, just inside the door uh, this one happens, happens to be happens to be a drill site believe it or not uh, it's one of the first drill sites you've seen in a you know um, and he looks he, he's a particularly large drill site too I might add go amoeba <laughs> not, how not many bad. limbs uh, four limbs. Wow. At the moment, four limbs. Um, anyway, um, there's a, uh, a, um, a one of those um, electro electronic um, touch screen directories. Um, it takes you mere seconds to find uh, that sack uh, uh, are on floors uh, are on floors. 43, 44, and 45, with the reception on four, floor 45. Well, floor 45 it is, unless we plan on, you know, breaking, up, breaking into their office immediately. Don't say no. that too loud. <laughs> so, um, you travel up to floor 45, um, and the doors open up, onto a reception area there is a receptionist there um again this one's this this receptionist happens to be a female sorry a male um brusk no sorry uh Yazirian, I, should, I should say who looks up and says in a deep Yazirian voice yes can i help you uh i guess whoever has the letter uh will say yeah, the Ooh. letter of introduction. We have this, uh, and we uh, need to speak to. I guess it, it, it d is it introducing us to a specific person. If you're responding, Matt, I can't hear you. Sorry, voice. Over. Yes. Um. Uh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. It's introducing to a gentleman by the name of Mark Sorrow. All right. Yeah. We're who, here to who, see him. Who, who you assume is a human based on the name. Yeah. Yeah. We're here to see Mark Sorrow and uh, here show show the receptionist the letter. Oh, I see. Yeah. One moment, please. Uh, and he again makes an internal phone call. Uh, Mr. Sorrow is on his way. Uh, if you care to take a seat, again, there's a couple of seats in, yeah, in the reception yep. area. Yep, we'll take a seat. Mm -hmm. What uh, wood is the as coffee as table made of? What oh, fake wood, matter. rather? It doesn't matter. Actually, natural wood. It's made of natural wood, natural wood from the planet. Oh, um, wow. A few minutes, li a few minutes later, a, a human in a, in a suit uh, uh, comes over and says, um, Yes, I believe you're uh, here to see Mr. Mark Sorrow. That's me, he says, holding out his hand uh, deliberately to Cat first. Okay. Even though, technically, Cerise is closer. Ooh. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, Cat will shake his hand. He then, mo he then moves on. Uh, he then moves on to everybody else. Uh, leaving Cerise to last, you get the distinct impression um, that he, that he's going to wash his hand very soon afterwards. Oh, yeah, it's yes, another human, human, human man. man. So you have a letter, I believe. He says, turning back to Cat. Yes, we do. Uh, our uh, friend. Do we have a name for our Mister K? Mister Kel Kill. It's a cat kick or something like that. 
Yeah, and that guy. Our friend is at Pan Galactic Holo News. Hmm. And he takes the letter, reads it, and he goes, hmm, yes, well, okay. Hands it back. So, how can I help? Sorry, I'm thrown off by this guy potentially being one of the racist people. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it probably changes how we uh, we <laughs> we go about this. Um, we can't just say, hey, uh, what happened with the broadcast, if he's behind it? Yeah, we, we're, we're hoping to, to find out um, what happened to your broadcast today. Uh, there was, seemed to be an unauthorized tampering with the broadcast. Uh, we're, we're looking yes, into that. Th y yes, there was. And he's, he actually gets... The, 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 the undercurrent in his voice is quite angry. He's quite pissed at that, that it happened by Santa for things. Or he's a very good actor. I'll mm. do detect. I'll try to see if he's lying. Sure. Oh, yeah, Although I'm supposed to roll that. My 5% chance. Yes, I know. Or, you, are you, or you're supposed to roll that one, right? No, you can roll it. I don't mind. Because I was pretty sure you were going to fail it. Ah, thanks. <laughs> That's <laughs> thanks right. for having that call. No, not, 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 not because of you, because, five, because you only had a 1 in 20 chance of getting it. Anyway. Yeah. Um, a anyhow, yes. yeah. Um, Pan Galactic um, News are, are a little concerned. Uh, they just want us to look into it and make sure that it doesn't happen again. Yes, well, I'll, well, rest assured, we're quite concerned that it doesn't happen again. Um, so what I can tell you... Uh, ...is that the transmission originated from the starport. From the starport, yes, it came down the line. We we did we did it we did a router we did a router trace back, and it came from the starport somewhere. Uh, we have contacted the Rick personnel at the starport. They are currently investigating. Ah oh, well, uh, so if there's anything, if you care to leave me your if you care to leave me your number, I'll I'll uh, I'll let you know what they find out if you like. Yeah, but we tend that, to I don't help. Think uh, much else Hang on, hang on. Let me finish. But it's Ryan, you've Sorry. got a real habit of doing. You've got a real habit of doing that. Let me finish, please. Um, if you'd leave me your, if you leave me your contact number, I'll uh, let the, uh, I'll, I'll uh, let you know what we find out. Non-proprietary, of co non, uh, non-proprietary, of course. Um, I'll also let Mr. Zikik know as well. He says, and there's disdain in his voice as he says that. Um, now, if, if if there's nothing else, I do have a lot to get on with. Uh, well, we just uh, help out the the Pan Galactic Hollow News on time to time. So you know, if there's anything that you need help with, uh, we're more than happy to help, provided yes, I'll, uh... we are compensated for our its yes, speediest work. I'll keep it in mind, he says. So, good day to you all, he says, and turns and uh, turns to get to leave. Ah, okay. Yep. Did he, right. did, did he feel like he was uh, really trying to avoid getting questioned here? Like, was he being sort of uh, trying to divert our attention away, or does he just not want us poking our nose in it? Like, what... No, what, I, think what, was, what, I think it was more... I think, I think it was more of the lines he didn't like. He, he doesn't like dealing with Rusk. In fact, you note he goes into the men's room straight away. Interesting. Um, but anything, anything more than that, I'm going to need a roll of something of someone. Yeah, I think that's more Babu's forte. Yeah. Why Babu? Look here. His uh, psychosocial. Yeah. Yeah, well, the intuition yeah, from to find where the intuition. I put them. There they are. Cerise, you you got the distinct impression he, he was trying to avoid you as much as possible. But other than that, a it psycho was more empathy, it, trying to get a feel for him. Uh, yeah, if you want. 
Yeah, no, sorry, not with yeah. that role, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like uh, back on Alcazar when you tried to, you know, help us out with yeah. our problems, yeah. and then you only made them work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's right. You you didn't help anybody, but you made mine worse. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, do you... Look, as, as a, the general consensus, if you have a quick chat amongst yourselves, the general consensus is he wasn't trying to avoid the situation so much as, oh, shit, here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a bug I don't like, and they're here on a, mis- on a mission from a bug type thing. Yeah. So, uh, he seemed genuinely angry at the interruption uh, interruption to service. Uh, or he or or he was an incredibly good actor. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Don't know if so you're reading you, chat, Ben, but that's a good one. Like. Yeah. Mm. So what's your so what's your next move, guys? Um, did we, we had, uh, a potential looking into the glass house while we're in the business district? Yeah, they're executives. Uh, yeah, well, both. That's, uh, click act. Click act. <laughs> I don't know what we really want to ask them. Yeah. Leave, leave and go, sh- well, you can just go in and ask them. You know, you traveled in, you traveled in on the on the thing. I mean, you know, you can put yourselves out as, as private investigators, you know, you can do what you yeah. want. I mean, you know. I can always um, go I can always go in looking for one of them, you know, the the younger one saying, "Hey, he he had invited me to come visit him." Yeah, you could always do that too. There's plenty of options to get there's plenty of ways and options of doing it. That was more just me saying, what, we, what do we have left to do in the business district? Because it feels like we're going to the starport, much to oh, uh, well, you, well, you, Ceresa's chagrin. <laughs> well, you've, well you, okay, a couple you've, got, you've, got, you've got the Click Act house. Um, Rick's uh, based in the business district as well as out at the starport. Um, you've got Vizlat uh, in the business district. You've got a number of things you can do. If you wanted to, without going to the starport yet, or at yeah, all. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's up to you guys what you want to do. And is the is the starport uh, under Vizlat control? Like, is that their yeah. sort of domain? Like, an airport is kind of its own little government area type thing. Uh yeah, technically, yes. I, I I'm just I'm just thinking out loud because uh, this kind of ties this transmission back to Vizlat via the starport a little bit. Uh, well, it also ties it also ties Rick back to it there because Rick's yeah. got a presence yeah. at the starport. Uh, but none of the other none of the other trade houses do. Yeah. Right? Any any warehouses are in the in the Jeddah district around the starport, not on starport grounds. Yeah. So. But if you're going to ship yeah. off planet, you need to talk to Vislat. Yeah, pretty much. They take their cut for certain. Landing fees. That would be from everybody. Fees. Yeah. That's what business does. <laughs> yep. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, just uh, don't keep that up in in front of me. Yeah, so uh, Sick Trickstar, um, the transport company, they used to own the, own the Starport, but of course Vizlat recently bought them out. That's public knowledge, I think, you'll find. Recent as in like three years? Ago, no, or recent, recent. Six months. Well, six months. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that's in Here's the, the timeline that I got so far. Uh, that was in not... the. Uh, that's in the system brief. Yeah, that's in the system brief. Okay. Yeah. 
where it describes the it describes the major trade houses. Okay, so and of course I sent you the I emailed everybody the system brief, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because it's a bit one too of the big. Places I'm getting my information from. Yeah, well, that's what it gave it to you for. It's there for the reason. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, where do you want to go to now, guys? Or what do you want to do now, guys, I should say? Where are people's priorities at for what they want to figure out next? Well, Cerise apparently wanted to go shopping. Ah. Do we not already have civilian skin suits? No. You have military skin suits, and I don't think you're wearing them at the moment, are you? How about this? Baby is getting some very strange looks from everybody. Yeah, so uh, I guess getting a uh, going shopping is probably a good idea, because civilian skin suits seem like a, a good good plan. Well, you have no trouble finding a finding a place, um, and get dressed out in the latest the latest local fashions in your civilian skin suit. Do you want one or two or three or four or five? Or yeah, how many do you want? I think they're three hundred apiece, the civilian ones. I thought they were five. Yeah, I thought it's five. Five? Oh, they're five. Well, yikes! I want one yeah. because that's two would be more than our entire paid. Yeah, I, th I think one is fine. Uh, we're not that far away from a shop that we can't just go buy another one if it gets destroyed. And Cerise wants three. Nice. No, no, that I think they're five hundred each, not three hundred. Hang on a second. How heavy are these things? Like, is it actually uh... a suit of a suit of clothes? A suit of clothes with a uh, with a fine layer of uh, Kevlar. Oh, yeah, a pound each. Yeah, they they weigh the same as a regular skin suit. Yeah, okay. Because they they are a regular skin suit. They're just in civilian uh, civilian fashion, cloth cloth, clothing. Yeah, styles. Yeah. So mark those off your sheets. Put them on your sheets if you want. Yep. Um, what what we're looking for in terms of um, non-lethal grenades, Cerise? Smoke and doze, or something else? The fragrant one, right? Fragrant or fragment? <laughs> oh. I need one more smoke, but everybody should make sure they have something. Tangler, smoke, doze, whatever. All of those three are available at, re at regular prices. Uh, oh. Are there are there stun sticks there? Uh, yeah, you can get a stun, st a stun stick. Because a stun stick has, is the one where you can switch between uh, non-lethal and like a stun and a uh, an actual damage, right? <laughs> It is. They're going to ask. They, they ask you for ID, a license. Interesting. Do we actually have that? No. You've got a licenses for your current melee weapons and your pistols. It's part of your visa. Ah. Uh, all right then. I guess we can't get that. So unless you are already using a sun stun stick, and therefore have a license for it, you can't buy another one. Now, well, again, I nothing mean, to say that. There's nothing to say that somebody who has got a license can't buy one and then when you're outside the shop, hand it over. <laughs> I, I believe that Jazz has a stun stick. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Or see about getting a license. Uh, you won't get one on the visas you've got, not without, not without some serious weight pulling from the police. And you won't get that from, from uh, Tikik. From the inspector, yeah, yeah from now. The inspector. Jazz has a stun stick, so uh, given that 
Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, don't bother taking off Jazz's seat, but yes. So, is Jazz going to buy one and hand one over to you, is he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right. Just because uh, it's probably not a great idea that we're just carrying around uh, force axes and sonic swords. Uh, they're a little bit messy for civilian... And, pi and pistols. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do get some strange looks, especially from Babu with his military skin suit and his force axe <laughs> over his shoulder. Yeah, well, yeah. I carry a pe sonic pe sword, a force axe, and a sonic stunner, so I can do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bottom line is that, that people, seem, people seem to be um, uh, avoiding you for some reason. Don't know why. Just making sure we're protected. There's riots going on. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yes. All right, so, you, so you've gone shopping. Um, it's getting on a bit in the afternoon. What do you want to do? Did we uh, do we still have the other hotel booked out, or can we just get a hotel in the business district? I, I was oh, unclear you on. The, you, you can get a hotel in the business district. I don't know how many days you paid for in the old hotel, but you can get a, you, can, you can get. It's not. It's I mean, it, it's getting on in the afternoon. It's not. It's it, the business is still open. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think in my head, uh, going to the glass house is the thing that I'd like to do, uh, because it's weird that their executives got caught up in this. Well, sort of their executives fight. were members of the VPF, apparently. Which you have no, there's been no no mention of that anywhere in the public domain or otherwise. Yeah. And it's funny that the VPF was supposedly. Well, that broadcast was done by... Supposedly by a human. Yeah. I mean, it could have been computer-generated. It's pretty easy to computer-generate a couple of eyes, a mouth, and a mask. Mm. For example. Although it looked pretty real. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if Ceres, if you're up for that, uh, I think that's a good plan. So, what do you intend to ask these guys? Just so I know. I mean, we can't just go in there and accuse them of having VPF traders in their myths. Uh, that's not really the way to go. I. I mean, what what we're trying to figure out is we're trying to figure out names that we can investigate further and how they might have been involved or got involved. But, um, mm. and we don't know their names, do we? Okay, Ceres, you do know the names. Okay, so I use Ceres for the name for the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, trying to get connection, like information of where they're from, so that we could we could follow up how they got tied up in all of this is is where I'd be wanting to go. I mean, essentially, we're looking for ties to the VPF, VPF right? Like, that's what we're really trying to get at the bottom of. But yeah, I, I agree, Ceres, if, that, if that's, yeah, trying to get back around. True, yeah. Yeah, Matt, so I don't think you're going to have a conversation say. about walking into the Rust Trade House since my dad's not going to really talk. No, I know. But we can do it by typing if we need to. Text is Well, working. yeah, that's it's... his plan, so you know. That's all right. 
it's it's slightly strange to be speaking out loud and then reading text, but uh, it works. With you, I'm not. I'm, I'll be with you in a sec, guys. Just give me a second. Yeah, no problem. I'm actually surprised that my voice is holding up given how much I'm coughing off mic. <laughs> <laughs> right, almost ready. Now I'm ready. So, um, you walk into uh, the um, ClickHat house. Um, they have a very impressive building, um, what's one of the mega skyscrapers, and it, 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 it seems to be fully occupied by the one, uh, the one trade house, this one. Um, there are some beautiful works of art in, in glass, on display, in the, in the um, foyer, uh, on a pedestal, and the pedestal's got a glass, you know, like a square pedestal with a square glass face, and yeah. Um, and there's some, inc there's some it, it, you can see why um, they are the leading trade house in this particular type of artwork and, and type of um, uh, glasswork. Um, and the, the line between the two blurs. Uh, some of the pieces are functional, some of the pieces are not functional. They're just purely artwork. But anyway, so that's how it goes. So um, you walk up to the... Um, uh, you walk up to the... Um, uh, the, the, the Receptionist, reception asks you uh, how's how um, how things are going. Uh, yeah, sorry, what you, what they can do to help, and you mention meeting up with uh, the younger of the two Rusk executives, um, the uh, receptionist says, uh, "I'm sorry, but that gentleman uh, is deceased." Um, so what do you say from there? Anything else? Um, she uh, she says, uh, unfortunately, he died in an incident at the uh, spaceport yesterday, uh, which sparked the riots. Unfortunately, uh, he, uh, other than that, no. Um, if you know, when you ask about families, no, no, he was a uh, he was a, he was single. His uh, his uh, partner, who, uh, whose name she gives and whose name you recognise, he had family. And they're obviously, they're devastated. Um, devastated. Do you mind if I ask? Why you're so curious about about our two employees? And there's a note of suspicion in the voice. I, s I see, she says. Well, if there's nothing else, I, I need to get back to work. What do you want to do, mate? Well, uh, you can pay them to me if you like, or possibly to uh, to his boss. Um, 
but I know Mr. Another another rough name. Um, he's very busy at the moment, uh, especially losing two of his main uh, main subordinates. Well, I'll, I'll see if he's free. I wouldn't hold my breath. And she makes a call. And a few minutes later, or a few seconds later, after you know, she makes a call, talks for a while, talks for a little bit, and, and then says, um, uh, in a somewhat surprised voice, "Mr. Zizzle will be down in a moment. If you care to take a seat." Now, where's everybody else by this stage? I think they're across the street or something. Yeah, Maybe. we're not. Yeah, we're not the in street? the same what? building, or if we're on the first okay. floor. You know, we're not in any way related room. with Ceres yeah, okay. at the moment. Alright, alright. So you're just hanging out downstairs, are you? Yeah, we're finding you, a coffee yeah. shop downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a coffee shop not too far away. Late afternoon coffee. You're having coffee, so are you? Trying to not look suspicious with a very imposing site with a force axe and military skin suit. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> um... Funnily enough, you find it. Funnily enough, you find a table. Um, in fact, somebody moves away as you approach the table. Um, <laughs> uh, coffees, yes, coffees good. will be. I want their name. Like, I want their ID. I want their address. Their social security number. I want everything you have on the map. Yeah. No. Sorry. Um, if coffees are five. Coffees or the equivalent are five credits each. Uh, so. Um, Back to Cerise. Um, yes, the uh, the gentleman comes down. Um, uh, you greet him in a, uh, a a formal way, and he he greets you back with a surprised look on his mandibles. Um, I understand you knew uh, such and such and such and such. Yes, obviously you did. Yeah. Um, so, how can I help you? Oh, I can certainly pass that on on to uh, such and such as uh, widow and family. Um, if you like, I can do that certainly. Uh, probably flowers. Yeah, whatever, the, whatever that would be. I don't know if there would be a wake or... A, you know, oh, well, whatever. I, I wouldn't know either. I've never thought about a brusque funeral and a brusque, you know, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but I mean... I, mean, I, thought about, I, thought about, I thought about burying you in a shallow grave occasionally, but, you know, that's a whole other issue. <laughs> but if there would be a... If there would be something like, like a funeral or something to, you know, where I would there have would the opportunity... Ceremony. ceremony. There, there would be a ceremony of some sort. Um, I don't know what the rust, I don't know. I, 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 I've never actually considered what a rust ceremony would look like. Um, okay. But it would be a ceremony of some sort. Um, well, I don't um, think there's a lead that direction, but that's okay. No, I don't either. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll just g give condolences and, and we'll leave. You'll leave. Okay. No worries. Um, when you leave, you see the others sitting across. On a, a sidewalk cafe, having uh, having beverages of some sort. Um, what do you want to do? You sit at a different table, order something. If you're going to order something, it's about five credits. What's everybody else doing? Anything interesting? Uh. I'm tampering with my body comp, running incredibly complex calculations just because I can. 
Yes. What about what everybody else? And Babu's kind of doing the same thing. Cause mm -hmm. He don't think these companies are adding up correctly. So do we do we see Siriz come back? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's sitting at a different table, not too far away. Didn't okay. You? Yeah. Um, no, uh, you don't spot anyone. No, no one. No one watches you. No, no one uh, seems to be tailing you or anything else like that. Hmm. Uh, well, I. Given that Cerise has sat at a different table, uh, obviously I would want to go up to her and ask how things went, uh, but maybe she was being followed or something. So I will continue drinking my coffee and wait for her to come over. Okay. So, Cerise, no one followed you? As far as you're aware. How far are we away from uh, the broadcast of the uh, the Pan Galactic Hollow News tonight, time wise? Oh, um, hour and a half, maybe, maybe, okay. an hour, maybe two hours. I just have it in my head that we need to make sure that we dial in for that because of the mining report, mining colony well, report. Or, yeah. All news all the time, as 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 Cerise just said. I just remember that they were. They it was specifically getting broadcast at a time tonight. Like there was a, a time when it yeah, was going to get get, yeah. Yeah, during the main news. Okay. During the main news hour, and that was yeah that one, and I don't know if there's no lead there, Cerise. You don't know what's on their computers, for example. I uh, the the one thing that I don't have in my head is how what what kind of uh, process are we going to have to go through to get onto a uh, a computer network that uh, maybe we shouldn't be accessing? Like, would we have to break into offices or? Well, you could. That's one way. Yeah. Um, you could also try. You could also try the social, uh, the social manipulation ma techniques. Yeah. You know, talk your way in, like you did with the Hollow News guys. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you a bit of a clue, a bit of a hint. Mm -hmm. um, the last guys I last guys I put through this adventure uh, acted like private investigators. Um, and uh, use their persuasion and a good story to you know to w to get their way get their way on onto a computer when they needed to. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's plenty of ways you can do it. Bra the break-ins a, a, a valid way of doing it. Uh, use their personality score to try and a good story to try and persuade them on. Yeah. Okay. Cat's personality is a 50-50, so I'm not liking our chances there. No, but some people have got better pers uh, personalities than that. I don't, don't better. What do you know of personality? Of course you have personality. <laughs> I'm better than Cerise, but worse than Cat. I mean, isn't that normally what a face man is supposed to be doing? Talking their way into things? Hint, uh, hint. Our, our party well, that's face Babu, but you know. Wearing a, uh, yeah, a military can't skin suit. Save his life or your life. <laughs> that well, is true. You, when you tried to comfort me again, you just told me how much of a failure I was and, you know, all the bad stuff. And, yeah. You wanted to be, you wanted to be the face man, Babu. Yeah, I did. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Let's get, let's get some face work done then. And you want to do it in a military skin suit holding a force axe. I looked at my uh, inventory at the civilian skin suit. I, I can put the uh, handle of the force axe away if need be. Sorry, miss it. You knew what with the force axe? I'll put the handle away. Ah, okay. Less uh, easily easily seen. Mm-hmm. So, what are you going to do? I mean, getting getting cat onto a uh, one of the uh, glass houses computers would be ideal if we could look up because uh, if we have the names we could probably look up their names on one of their databases certainly could if you get onto them yeah so who am I looking for oh I don't know you, you how, it depends on how you want to play it the only person you can see is the receptionist again the the, the rust gentleman went back up went back into the lifts and which presumably back upstairs Okay, so I just need to play uh, Persuader. So what's your story when you go in? Um, okay, well... We Before need, you go in, you need to work this out. <laughs> we need yes, to get yes, some information, correct? So... We have a good reason why we need have this information, I can try to persuade her that it's in all of our best interest to get it. All right, but why would that? What would, what would that reason be? Um. And are you considering bribing anyone at all? Bribing's always fun. I mean, should we go down the route of uh, investigating? Uh, I suppose if we if we go down the route of saying that we're investigating their deaths, then maybe that uh, it's going to trigger suspicion. I mean, we're not exactly Vrosk here. We're a human and a Dralocyte. Uh, it doesn't win us any points. How much uh, time do we need to get that? Uh, to do the search, I, I, it's not really that long. It's only when we are forcibly bypassing security that... Uh, it takes some time. It takes some time. If if they give us access, then we don't have to bypass any security, which means we're probably okay. Do you have your computer? Do you have a computer with you? Uh, that's a good question. I have my CAS for sure. Yeah, I don't think you we... You don't have a computer with you at all? No. Because if you did... If, mm. if you did, you could try and hack in wirelessly. I thought that really wasn't a thing. Yeah, you can do it. When the when, when it exists. Well, I mean, we do have that handy-dandy uh, Type 2 computer. I think, yeah, the type two, I think the Type 2 computer is like 20 kilos. That's 8. Still, a Type 2 computer is not a laptop. Well, Type <laughs> or, 1 is a laptop, right? Or a body comp type, or a computer access computer, uh, or something like that along those lines. Yeah, I, I, even the laptop size computer is really heavy. It, I, I couldn't fit it in the oh, weight. Oh, laptop's like three. Yeah, but that doesn't have a battery. You've got to have a battery as well. Oh, yeah. It's the battery that takes up all the weight. The power barrier is really heavy. Yeah, because they're lead. They're batteries. <laughs> what do you expect? Anyway, so look, you've got options. If you, you know, if you were to, uh, for example, you were to acquire a laptop or something like that, um, you might be able to hack your way in, for example. That would be an interface computers, bypass security, and then once you're in, we go from there. So... And the way that this network works, we'd be we'd need to be physically like 
there? Well, or? you need you need the well. I don't know. It, Was there I mean, a range of the Wi-Fi? Range. I mean, I could I could hack. I mean, I know how to hack something from across the street. Um, yeah, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how the the access works in the game. Wow. Well, yeah, a bit like that. Why? You know, you hack your way. Yeah, yeah. You you get onto the get onto the public the public computer and then do a bypass or a security interface and in from there. Um, or I can just try to convince her that she wants us or to or you can be able to do it. Yeah, or you can, you can try and convince her with or without your charm, with or without your money, uh, if you're talking bribery, to, to, let, to let, her, let her on your computer, let, her on, let you on her computer for a little while. We speak the same language, right? Who? Yeah, everyone speaks, everyone speaks the same language. Why? I could hypnotize her into just letting us borrow her computer for a minute. Yeah, you can do that too if you wanted. You can try that too if you want. You have options, gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, ideally, hacking in from a hotel room with a late night of hacking would be uh, ideal. It's All right, but you know, you, you know that, that. But yeah, you could do that. But I mean, that would that would involve. Um, um, a um. Uh, um uh, um, um, oh, where is it? I can't find it. An interface computers role to get on in the first place, and mm -hmm. then you'd need, and then you'd need a uh, um, either a bypass or defeat security, whichever one I can't remember which one it is, just to get onto the system. That's how you'd you know. Then you'd need. Um, uh, the info display info, and if there's any restricted information from there, you'd need to defeat security, or on the on the files. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's assuming that. Uh, no, that, no, that would be assuming nothing. Yeah. So what what do you want to do, boys? What do you want to do, guys? Uh, I would suggest I hypnotize her. I attempt try to hypnotize hypnotize her. Uh, passively, I would say, in that if it doesn't mm. work, it's not like we're trying to just browbeat her into it or anything. It's just okay. no, no. I understand what you mean. I and understand what you mean. If we don't make it, then uh, we can try the uh, hack from the room on the Wi-Fi. Okay, you want to do it that way? Yep. Okay. I just want to see what so, happens with the hypnotism. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk in, Babu, uh, and she uh, she she starts saying, "Help you know, What can I do to help you?" And all that, and you you uh, uh, babble on for a little bit in such a really way as to. I really need help with this. Uh, my my friend mm -hmm. here needs to borrow your computer really nicely, and it would be a real great thing if he could must get on and try to find some information all right, well, give for me. me. A, all right, give me a roll. And it didn't work, did it? And it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you had a pretty decent chance, you know, at 55%. Basically. Yeah, you'd think I would, yeah. you think you would, but you stuffed that right. Yeah, okay. And she goes, I'm sorry, but no, the, uh, the computers are strictly for uh, for uh, uh, our, our company's members' use only. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Thank you very much. That's all right. Have a nice. <laughs> all right. So that so that didn't work. So what do you? That didn't work this time around. So what are you going to do? You're going to you're going to try and do it from the hotel as a late night hack, are you? So y the computers that are at the hotel are they equipped enough to be able to try that? Yeah. 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 Let's go for it. Uh huh. What have you? What, what you've got a what you got a computer access computer on your arm, don't you? Yes. So it should help to get yourself into it. Yeah. All right. All right. So you, is everyone heading back to the hotel and having, or going to a restaurant first and having heading back to the hotel? Yep. Yep. That works yep. with me. Okay. 
All right. Well, knock off, knock off 35 credits each for food and drink. <sighs> Lifestyle and expenses. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. This is, yeah. You, you, I mean, do you want to eat the equivalent of Maccas all, all the time? I'll let what? you do we, it. We got friggin' I'll let several you do weeds it. worth of food supplies for like 20 people. Yeah, they're rations, dude. Have you ever have you ever actually eaten eaten army rations? I have, and I and I know James has no, as well. I, I could. Like to survive. My grandfather has a several boxes of MREs that yeah, I could try. Well, yeah. Well, you I hear the spaghetti MREs. meatball is pretty good. Yeah, you try living on MREs for a week. All right. Meals rejected from Ethiopia. Hey, what was that, James? Meals rejected from Ethiopia. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I, anyway. The, sorry, the only sorry. advice I have is uh, don't eat the chocolate. Uh, Actually, the, oh, no, that's, uh, that's, no, the latest eating, versions aren't too bad, really. Yeah. Eating the chocolate's quite fun. Because right? if you don't <laughs> eat the chocolate... And, and, and the reason being, if you don't eat the chocolate, you don't go. And if you yeah. don't go, you die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At so, least in the uh, the con I don't know whether it's across the board, but the chocolate in the Australian rations is a laxative. Uh, yeah, it's the same stuff. <laughs> it's the same stuff. In fact, in fact, when I was quick, quick, quick side story. When I was in the Air Force Cadets, we went out bush for uh, a, a three-day long weekend with MREs. We got a pack of MREs, and we handed out the MR. We handed out. We we went through everyone's kit, made sure they had no food. All right, and then we handed out the MREs. And, bef and and as we handed them, we were going to hand them all out, and then we were going to tell everyone. Um, but by, there was 32 kids, 32 teenagers, and be, by the time we got to the, by the time we got to the la handing out the last set of MREs, like three three MREs per person, because you know MRE will last your day, uh, MRE pack will last your day. Um, we said to these guys, don't eat all the chocolate at once; it's a laxative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three people, three of the guys had gone through the already. entire block of chocolate already yeah, in nice. one go. Now, the block of chocolate is supposed to last you all day, right? And you eat it slowly, like, you know, a piece at a time. Yeah. Anyway, these three these three people went, ha, 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 you're very funny. We went, we're not joking. And they went, we just ate our entire block. And he said, well, you know, you're going to be doing for the next half an hour, <laughs> don't you? And it, it, half an hour later, the three of them were the three of them were behind trees. Right? Nice. Oh no, not nice, <laughs> not nice. And then the, and then they ate their, then they ate their MRE. The next day they were constipated. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Now I like I like luncheon meat number number two. That's what it's called on the tin, and it comes out looking like pal. For those of you who don't know, Pal is a brand of tinned dog food. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, maybe... It, I'm it looks like it, it smells like it, and I don't know if it tastes like it or not. I've never eaten Pal, but this is what it is. The only way to cook it is to throw the entire tin in a billy of water, a, 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 you know, a boiling water, with the salt and the pepper and some of the sugar and some of the... Uh, and make a stew out of it. It's the only way to eat it. So, yes. Anyway... The biscuits are nice, the jam's nice, the butter's nice, the Vegemite. We get Vegemite in the Australian MREs. The Vegemite's nice. They come in little tubes, little toothpaste tubes, like little tiny ones. Uh, they're nice. just enough to last you a day. Um, so, yes. Anyway, that's enough about MREs. Yeah, so, no, you, 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 you're going to, a, you went to a restaurant, you spent 35 credits each. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, after the restaurant, you, I assume you head back to the, you, you head back to the, um, uh, the hotel. If you yep. do it this way, you are not going to get that report, that news report you are looking for. Oh. Yeah, because you're at dinner for a couple of hours. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Oh, yeah, I, I want to get the news. Well, you can always get the news, the late news, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Tune it. We'll tune in somehow. Yeah. All right. So you get back to your hotel room. Um, um, there are no messages waiting for you. 
Um, what time do you want to try this attempt, Cat? Uh, do I have an appreciation that trying it at a specific time of night will be easier or harder? Or is it just get it over and done with as soon as possible? Well, I can tell you now, trying as, as, an ethical, as a certified ethical hacker, which I'm not quite yet, I've got to do the exam yet, um, yep. best time... Uh, most people go in uh, uh, in the early hours of the morning because there's no um, there's no one else on the network. But we know that, so we tighten up the network at that time. Yeah. So y you might be better off around about eleven, eleven thirty, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that was the question that I was asking. So yeah, cool. So I'll go in at that okay. optimum time. Okay, you're in the optimum time. All right. Well, the eleven o'clock news comes on before um, you make your attempt. Um, there's uh, the riots are just about over, uh, just about contained and, and over. Um, uh, several dozen people have been killed and injured uh, of all races. Um, um, there's it's still it's it's still going on tonight, but but it, it's only the hardcore, the really hardcore rioters that are still rioting. Um, there's been several um, hundreds of thousands of credits worth of damage done. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, other than uh, other, other than that, there is a report of um, uh, 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 an accident um, uh, on uh, the moon uh, moon base up there, um, and apparently the entire uh, the entire base was uh, was wiped out. Um, speculation is it was a nuclear accident, um, which is why everybody died. I knew it from from massive. Well, they well they they mo most mining companies will use nu especially on moons will use nu will use nuclear charges because it's the best way of breaking up the rock and things like that. Um, so not a nuclear reactor so much as a nu the, the speculation it was a nuclear mining charge um, that went off uh, prematurely um, and uh, wasn't properly shielded, and so the radiation went through the whole the whole base. But there's been no no replies from the base and the base um, the base uh, operators um, uh, Schmaltz uh, said they sent a they sent a recovery team in um, in uh, heavy hazmat space hazmat gear um, and that's what they, that's what the reports are. But there's been no there's been no there's been uh, very little official comment from um, Schmaltz. Um, so uh, there's a lot of speculation um, as to exactly what was happening, but apparently there's uh, an ongoing investigation that Smolch is, is carrying out. Apart from that, um, the weather tomorrow should be fine. <laughs> a light breeze off the a light breeze off the Yakka Sea, <laughs> and so yep. on and so on. So yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah that's about it. All right. Anything else? Huh? All right. So, uh, do you remember which of your computer skills is the is the uh, the one you have to be on on site to bypass? Is that the, the defeat or the bypass? I never remember. It'd be the bypass, Bi wouldn't it? Bypass is like explicitly like we rewiring things. Yeah. Uh, so it, no. it would be defeat security. It'd be defeat security. All right. So the first thing you need to do is um, fire up and operate the computer. Um, it's a level one. It's a level one computer in the hotel room. Cool. Oh, you've already uh, done that, haven't you? Yeah, I've already done that. Yeah, okay. Uh, who, who, whose name is the booking of this hotel room under? By Your the own. Way? Ah, great. Yeah, cool. So do um, you want to go next door and use somebody else's? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, no? We're, we're on board with this plan, so let's just go for it. All right. So uh, first of all, I need you. In the, I need an interface computer role. The large, the, the the it's a level one computer here, but it's a level four computer at um, at uh, CA. Nice. Yep. Okay. So. Just. Yeah, just. Just, look at it, just. Okay. So yes, you may, you may, you may get in, got to get onto this, the uh, the the CA um, external router. I now need you to do me a bypass computer. Again, it's level four. 
a defeat or a bypass? Uh, whichever one you've got to roll. I can't remember. Even, even though we just said that, I can't remember. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that... Oh, boy. Uh, the, intrusion, the intrusion detection... The, sorry, the intrusion <laughs> prevention... The intrusion <laughs> prevention system um, uh, has has uh, kicked you off, um, and you're pretty sure traced you traced back to the hotel in the meantime, um, and uh, uh, I don't. It, it, it's probably got. It, it's probably even got a sign- signature of your of your CAC. Uh, but, uh, um, I knock on everybody yeah. else's doors and say, uh, "We got to go." <laughs> Why? Why is? Why is that? Ask Doc. <laughs> um, yeah, I there's probably police knocking on our door anytime soon. We just we just gotta, gotta get go. hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. So what are you doing, guys? Are you leaving? I'm leaving. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Well. So, so where, where are you? Where are you going? Um, not here. Out of the building. I think I think not here is the the best. Yeah, discreetly, you know, away from the cameras, covering my face. I'm yeah, covering my face. Even though I don't I really am, have a face. I assume they already have our IDs and everything, so they they would know that it's us. Uh, but it's probably best not to be around when the police show up. Mm-hmm. I, I oh, mean, from, right. my, from from my point of view, uh, I would get the impression that somebody has got paged uh, and knows that a computer from this hotel tried to access their important systems. Like, that's what I would know, because yep. I, I, w- I would get an appreciation that I messed up pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that you got kicked off the system. Yeah, yeah except uh... don't leave together. Leave, like, in pairs of two. So where are so you, you going? Need the computer if you're... and you wipe down the fingerprints and then say somebody must have broken in and tried to access with our computer. Yeah, no, that's not. That, 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 I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> um. Yeah, given that it's my um, computer access computer um, interfacing with that, I think. I, I I think the there's some, yeah. They know it. They would know it was me. What's the uh, chance that there's a hotel right across the street? Not that good. Just well, what, well, what's the chance? Zero. Well, oh, I, God going, damn it. going to a ho- hotel uh, a couple of blocks away is probably a good idea. I was hoping for us just to walk across the street with our luggage in hand and just check into the hotel across the street. In my mind, that was really fun. There is no hotel across the street. There's a hotel a couple of blocks but away. But if there were... Blocks away. Well, there's not. There's a hotel a couple of blocks away. Is that where everybody's heading? Uh, I think... I mean, if they're going to trace us down, they're going to trace us down. Um... On the outskirts yeah. of where, Cerise? Yeah, the out- outskirts of the starport, for example. I mean, we were planning to go to the starport anyway, so maybe. I, is it <laughs> that li- is it that late that uh, the monorail's not working? No, the monorail's work twenty four seven. Okay. All right, so you're going to get on the monorail, and you're going to go where? Come on, guys, where are you going to go? Uh, Cerise says the industrial district. Well, there there won't be any hotels in the industrial district, right? Probably. No, there won't. Yeah, no. And the slums would be a, around the starport, I suppose. The Jettis. Heading, I think, I think heading to the to the starport, like not being in the district, is actually a good idea. Um, so heading to the not being, in, not, be, not being in which district? The current district. 
in the yeah, business district. In yeah. the business district anymore. Well, there's no. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. You're not in the business district at the moment. You're in the voice district. On that, you're, you're somewhere near your hotel. Is somewhere near that, but oh. not only a short distance from that terminal. Remember? Oh, we went back to that hotel. Okay, gotcha. Well, you yep. didn't tell me. You didn't tell me you got a new one. Good point. Yeah. You were talking about it, but you never actually said it. So you see, we'll go back to the hotel. Well, so that the starport is. Back to the hotel. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. The starport is in the slums. The starport is in the slums, and there's no accommodation on the starport grounds. Yeah, so... Alright. And there's no hotels. Well, there's a couple of hotels. I mean, it's hotels scattered across All the Alright, so then we get on the monorail right, to the yeah. starport, right? And then do what? Access the computers there, apparently? Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Cerise, but I mean, this is, we're close to midnight, right? You didn't get a lot of sleep today. Yes, you haven't had a lot of sleep in the last couple of days. You need to find somewhere to bed down for the night. Yeah, I, if we can find a hotel. Otherwise, otherwise, I'll start hitting you with fatigue penalties on your skills. Now, if you want to go ahead, go ahead, but. Yeah, the upper class district is going to be expensive to stay at. The business district doesn't really have much in the Yeah, so I guess, uh, you go. Who? Oh, you were about to speak, so I just... No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. You inhaled like you. Sorry, I inhaled because I'm... What, what is that? I, what I'm saying, what I'm suggesting there, if you're going to go high rent, uh, there's a, if you can't, I don't know if you see it on the map, but there's, there's a checkpoint into the high class area, so that's probably the highest rent area you could get to without going through a checkpoint of any sort. Yep. Right. And that would be the last terminal on that list. Yes, I understand that. But we need to sleep somewhere. But you need to sleep somewhere. And you don't want to... And, and yeah, first and foremost, I somewhere. think we got to sleep. And we don't want to go through a checkpoint at the moment. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to be in the same district... And there's no well, hotels in the industrial district, and there's few hotels in the business district. Well, that's the same district, but it's still oh, the, high, so. you know, the, high, the highest end you'll get. So, then a hotel near the starport, which means it's in the slum. Which sounds like... It, it's not a great of... idea, but unless you want to go through a checkpoint or stay in the same district... Well, I think staying in the same district is probably okay. We, it, going to that as close to the checkpoint as we can get is probably fine. Uh, well, that's eight kilometers away. Yeah, so, so then just, yeah. we'll just go... It's two kilometers a hex. Yeah, that's that's ages away, so I think that's fine. Uh, would we take a taxi rather than the monorail? Just so that we're... Like, are there security cameras on the monorail? Well, there are, but there's no, I mean, you know, there's cameras um, on the stations and there's cameras in the car. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, there's, you're going to get, I mean, if they're determined to find you, I think they're going to find you. They're going to find us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, taking the monorail up to close to that checkpoint, getting a, a not slums hotel is probably good. Yeah. Okay. Well, not too far from the not too far from that terminus, there is um, quite a nice hotel. Um, it's definitely four star. Um, do you want to stay there the night? What what impression do we get as what per night rate is this place like? Hundreds of dollars per night. Yeah, two hundred and fifty credits a night. Is that what? Wait, wait were we paying a hundred credits a night? Probably. Oh, we were paying 10 credits a night. Yeah. yeah you're, only just out of, you're only just out of the slums. Well, you've gone yeah. up class. <laughs> All Can right, we find a place, you know, 
near the like near that terminal that is 10 credit no <laughs> you're in the, you're in you're in the upper middle class area of the of the city dude right there ain't no there ain't no slum hotels around the place all right cat needs sleep so she's just gonna go in and get a room all right knock off 250 credits please will do oh before hang on, sorry before you do that the, re the, the, the receptionist, the, 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 night, the night receptionist says, and how many nights are we staying for, madam? Uh, just the one, thank you. Okay. <laughs> What's everybody else doing? Get in a room. I, I... Okay. That's a lot. I just, I just mentioned to the Dralocytes, I'm sure they have steam baths. <laughs> oh yes, we had we had some of the finest steam baths in Gosford City. Yeah, I need one. Don't care what I uh, smell like afterwards. Uh, uh, if you uh, do, we each have we to have get one... our own room. Yes, uh, one complimentary steam bath. Um, you'll find the steam baths on third floor. Uh, turn right when you come out when you get out of the lifts. Uh, you. You'll find some. You'll find some complimentary. Um, steam bath perfume in your room. I'm starting to feel hoity toity. <laughs> Jesus Christ. $250 is We're worth We're running through our entire payday. Welcome to the wonderful world of adventuring. All because Cat can't hack. Oh, Cat can hack. You stuffed that one. That was all. Yeah, there's always that one in twenty chance that you mess it up. There is that never that goes away. Chance. That never goes away. You want to try? It? By the way, do you want to try again tonight? Get some sleep. No, I'm just gonna get some sleep. Yeah. By the way, you know what I would have done if it had been me? Hmm. I would have gone into somebody else's room, or I would have gotten the guys to break into an an unoccupied room and done it from there. Yeah, I know, I know. In Shadow Run, I would in Shadow Run. I was I was the hacker when I was in Shadow Run. I used to I used to go to coffin hotels. Yeah, and do it from coffin hotels because <laughs> they're one they're hard to trace back because it's a it's a it's a shared system, um, and two it only costs twenty twenty credits, and three you can often get out of there quickly. I wasn't expecting to critical fail it. Um, no, uh, I know you were. <laughs> All right, so everyone, everyone needs to pay the money. Everyone, uh, I, I assume yep. the, I, I assume everyone. Um, there's, it, it's a, it's a pretty good hotel. Yeah, complimentary shampoo and and uh, body wax and and shell wax and uh, you know, all this type of stuff. It's yeah, they're nice beds, big TVs, big hollow, not TVs, big big trids and all the rest of it. All right, so um, is everybody going to sleep or are you, you going to do something tonight apart from? bathing and showering and sleeping and I'm sleeping stuff. I paid good money for this I'm just sleeping so no one's going to do anything until the next morning when, you, when yep. everyone gets up and right okay you're awoken by your com links going off I hit snooze <laughs> uh, there is no snooze on a com link I throw Can't it out the window so com link <laughs> Comment, cat answers her comment. Anyone else entering their comlink? Yeah, Babu is. Babu answers it. Uh, you're not sure, Cerise? You don't recognise the number. Does it keep ringing? Yeah, it keeps ringing. Fine, I answer. Okay. What the hell were you think you were doing? It's the <laughs> inspector on a conference call <laughs> with you lot. <laughs> Do you know how many strings I had to pull to keep you out of trouble? What were you thinking? <laughs> we were looking for leads uh, for the Vross Protection Force. Uh, this one is all you, Cat. You get to explain. <laughs> I'm not saying a single word. And then I turn it off and I go back to sleep. And yeah. it rings again. <laughs> and it rings yeah. again and keeps ringing. And I put it little under my pillow. Ass, little, sm little smart ass, don't hang up on me. 
Yeah, Hits him off right in bloody jail. You can tell him that when he comes back on the line too. Oh, look, the inspector's not happy. <laughs> right? Yeah. Next yeah. time, you're on your own. And there's no such thing as this Rust Liberation Front. It's a, it's this, this, we first we heard of it was yesterday. Well, right. who's, do, who's doing the broadcast then? Have you tracked that down? Did you know don't that it originated the, from the star don't point? Change, don't change. Yes, we know. If we, don't change the topic. What were you thinking? Seriously? We were trying to figure out um, where the, the backgrounds of the, uh, the two Vrus that were tried to assassinate uh, our friend at the star point. Yes, yes, I suppose. All right, not a bad idea. Next time, I mean, be I mean, careful. could could you could you lend us access to to your computers so that we don't have to go trying to hack into uh, the uh, the houses for this kind of information? I don't know if our computers were. Are you talking about the Starport computers or the Rick computers? Uh either, I guess. Well, I can I'm probably let you have a. I could probably let you let you have access to the Starport computers. That would be good. The Rick computers. Mm, yes, yeah, that I would probably could. be better. But understand the terms. Yes, yes, we could do the Rick computers as well, I suppose. But for God's sake, don't bring my name into it. Okay. What have I gotten myself into? I really don't know. <laughs> as far as the transmission yesterday is concerned, mm -hmm. we discovered a transmitter relay device in the computer in the communications room. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it could have been could have been left there by anyone, as our technicians part as Rust technicians pass through it all the time. Yep. Mm. And there's no security camera footage or anything? No, unfortunately there's not. It was wiped. Mm. Uh, have you it had a... Wiped. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. You'll, you'll need this. Um, it was wiped about an hour before the transmission went out. Mm, okay. Have you had a computer expert look at this system to see if there's any forensic traces that they may have left? Of course. What do you think we are, idiots? I'm just... And our, fr and our computer forensics guys didn't set off all the alarms under the sun either. <laughs> yeah, I do realise that I don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> not with a whole lot of that. That's a good <laughs> thing he can't see it. Charles <laughs> like nodding his head up and down. Oh, yes, you can. These are video com links. Yeah, but can you really see a Dralocyte's head moving up and down? <laughs> Do you have a head? How much, like how, how much, how, yeah, well, how much neck have you given yourself, basically? Oh, dear. Okay, do you, do you do you have any leads on the uh, those two executives or the, the Rick employees that uh, perished in the uh, the escape? At the starport, the assassins. Yes. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, no, n nothing that we found out so far. Uh, nothing. I'm certainly certainly nothing. I'm prepared to discuss over the comlink. This is supposed to be a low key situation, All right? This is. Uh, God, what, what am I going to do with you lot? <laughs> what I should do with you lot is throw you in jail and in throw you on the first shuttle out of the system. Anyway. So. Uh, no more breaking into house computers. Got it. No, I didn't say that. I just said don't get caught. Okay. Because right? the next time you're going to get caught, I won't cover for you. Yeah. You're quite happy. You, 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 it's quite okay if you move back your your old hotel too. 
Uh, on the other, on the other, on the other situation, if you want to stay in that, in the expensive one that you're staying at, it's up to you. Oh okay. my God! I don't have to pay so goddamn much money. Uh, and answered your question, Cerise. It was a stored message. Hmm. On a timer. Yeah. It's all right. I just, I, I'm not ignoring you, Cerise. It's just I got to remember to keep reading. <laughs> All right, and so uh, so uh, in the inspector he, he, he abruptly hangs up on you. Know, you know, I'll see you when you get out here, and hangs up on you. Yeah. Um, it's early in the morning, uh, like you know, six thirty-seven. What do you guys want to do? Have we had a decent sleep yet, or should we? Oh yeah, no, we had a pretty decent sleep. But, you know, followed up by decent breakfast, you should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Are you going down to breakfast? Having breakfast is probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Now, breakfast breakfast is 40 credits. Delicious. It's a buffet breakfast, obviously. You know. Some very exotic fruits that you've never pa tasted before. And all the rest of it. Yeah, this, pla this place, yeah. somewhere else, eat at Starport. <laughs> Alright, so you're going straight out to the starport, are you, after breakfast? Is that is that what you plan to do, or do you want to have another crack at, another crack at CA, C CA's computers? Uh, like, we have access to the starport computer now, so I think going there is probably... I, I think attacking the computer but two days in a row is probably a bad idea. But he gets you mm -hmm. access to the Rick computer, too. Okay, so uh, knock off. A c That's where the inspector is correct. Uh, if you guys are going to jump the monorail, knock off another credit for yourselves for the day, uh, and make your way out to the uh, to the um, airport, uh, spaceport. Um, Right, okay. Don't mind me. Just a few notes. So, um, you make your way out to the starport. Um, when you arrive at the starport, what do you want to do? Uh, how did he actually give us... I forget the conversation. He just said he could get us access. He'd, yes, we don't actually, he said he yeah. could get you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like he also might have had information that he didn't want to talk about on the comm link. Possibly. So, I don't think he's going to be, t be particularly happy with us just showing up at his office, but it's probably the best thing that we've got. All right, well, uh, so uh, I assume that means you move to the security building, which is where mm -hmm. his office is likely to be. Yep. Um, uh, again... <laughs> Uh, you move in the security building, and there's a uh, Rick sergeant standing behind the desk. Yes, how can I help you? Uh, we are here to see uh, Inspector Person. Inspector Zixit. Uh, I say, and you, and you are? Uh, just say that Cat is here. He'll love it. <laughs> You're not supposed to bring its name into it. What? Not the, oh. okay. Too late now. So, guess, uh, uh, just wait here, please. And he goes off into the back of the building. Uh, a few minutes later, comes back and says, if you care to follow me, and leads you to the inspector's office and shows you in. The inspector's sitting behind a desk. There are no spare chairs. User in your <laughs> channel timed out. Oh, who's who that? Lose? 
Sharice. Sharice. User entered your channel. And that was Sharice. And he looks up at you and shakes his head and goes, hmm. You did I say that... I'm going to you show you a lot in bloody jail. You did say that we should... Like you implied that we should come visit you, that there was stuff that you didn't want to say over a com link. Yes. So we are here. <laughs> yes. I've set up a computer I've set up a computer terminal in the office next door. Okay. Yeah. Try not to set any alarms off. Awesome. Uh did you have anything that you wanted to discuss with us now that we're not on Conlink? If I go down, you're coming with me. Okay. Well, we can't leave this planet without you, so yes, we uh, we understand. No, I'm talking. I'm talking permanent jail time. Yep. Go on. Go and do what you got to do. And then get out of here. Let me know when you go. Okay. So, so, there's, a computer next, so there's a computer terminal next door. Okay. Right. I Can guess I, I, should, I, sh I should operate it, yes. Yes. So, uh, all right, um, now, a quick display info roll, please. Okay, you're not connected to the RIC computer, the RIC system yet, but you can see how you can do it. Ah, uh, yep. And that would so be an interface? There's no security in the... Yeah. Uh, that would be an interface computer. There is part of that interface computer. Part of that interface is, um, uh, includes a security... Part, you know, security is part of that interfacing because it's a natural interface, not a not a hack like you tried to do last night. Okay, right? but yeah. it's a but they're, but they're both level four computers. Okay. Yep. Uh, and if I fail the interface, will that prevent me from doing further searches on the Starport computer? No, it'll just simply you, you simply won't be able to do any searches on the RIC computer. And is this computer here attached to the? Um, surveillance system it's all part of the same network yeah okay so I guess before I do the interface with the RIC system I'd like to just do some forensics to see if I can find anything uh, sure. that, the, that the starport text may have uh, missed sure uh, what what uh role would you want for that? I forget what we did last time. Uh, that way, it's a level four, it's a level four dis uh, by uh, defeat security, whatever which one it is, security role, in this case. Oh, so doing a forensics thing is kind of the same as security, okay, yep. Pretty much, and l there's no separate skill, as such, but it's all to do with security, so. Yeah, okay. Um, in, in this, yeah. Okay. Um, there's uh, nothing that these guys have. Th there's nothing you f that you find nothing apart from what you already know in terms of the computer forensics. Mm -hmm. All right. There are um, a couple of hidden files. Uh, one is one you already know about, which is the Estona Finance restricted file, but there's, an, there's something else ferreted away in the system. Hmm. Hmm. And digging in that, would that be actually bypassing security? No, you'd have to do another security role at, uh, with against, a, an against, this one's against, um, uh, You'd have to, y the sequence would be, 
uh, this is, and again, this is all against a, a, a level four system. Um, you'd have to do um, a, a bypass security to get the displayed information, then the displayed information, and then if the file itself is encrypted, encrypted, another bypass security. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, I am very cautious of tripping up alarms and getting our inspector friend into trouble. Um, <laughs> Therefore, yourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's. Hmm. Uh, do I get an impression of uh, where it is in the system and what it might be about? I, I'm trying to gather whether yeah, I yeah, would yeah, no, no, no. be yeah, really you're curious. For, you're yeah, looking, you're looking yeah. for meta information. The meta yeah. information. The, 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 the file seems to be. Hang on, just, just let me confirm what I'm looking at here. It seems to be something to do with the traffic control subsystem. Oh no! Yeah, okay. I'm really curious. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hang on. Did you make that? No. Yeah. Not not yeah. at a, not at a target for for. No, not at a target for. No. Okay, so you don't set any alarms off, but no, you, you you're not sure if the file is even if it's even a real file. It could be. It, it's 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 almost like a ghost of a file. So it's either it's either hidden pretty well under the security system. Or it it's not there at all. Um, but yeah, um, does that make sense? Yeah. Now, can I find any information on the two um, glass executives? Mm -hmm. Like, do they is there any notes in this computer about them? Uh, give me a, uh, an information roll, please. Uh, no, nothing. <sighs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> what the hell? Well, Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you're so good at that. Wow. In, fa okay. in fact, in fact, in fact, the intrusion, the intrusion prevention system um, has flagged, has fla hasn't kicked you off because you're on a you're on a legitimate terminal, but it has flagged you. <sighs> As as unusual traffic. Great, I'm really good at this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, anything else? Anything else you want to look at, or do you want to do you want to try the interface now? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, great. I didn't think I could mess that up so hard that the interface is now harder, but I think I managed it. Nice. Uh, you did. Uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> the intrusion prevention systems. Go, if you try an interface, the intrusion prevention systems going to look at you harder. So you know it's gotten slightly, you know. So the actual, you know, so it's moved from a, uh, it's moved from a level four system to a level si a level five system. Do I get the impression that I could just chill for a bit and uh, it might time out and reduce? Yeah, it might the, be. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to wait. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering whether there's anything else that I can look up. Uh, I guess the RIC employees, we, that's really what we want to interface for. It's probably not going to mm -hmm. be any information here. Um, hmm, let me just look at my notes. You could start just Search, just searching for random things to throw off the scent of the program. Yeah, it might work. Actually, we're at um, we're at the starport. So, what information does these computers have on Vizlat? Uh, that will require me a roll, please. And a good one, hopefully. Uh, no information available, apart from the, the regular, one. the public information. No other, no information, information you don't already have. 
Hmm. What a juicy goth. You might, you might, you, uh, I mean, considering it's a Vizlat facility, technically, you might be able to interface with the Vizlat computers from here. Oh, okay. So the this it's not this this the Starport computers are different from the. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, in the same way that the RIC computers are different. Yeah. Mm. Does anybody else have any particular ideas that they want to look up while we're here? Um. No, not really. I assume that everybody else is in the room with me. Uh, yeah, I assume that too. Um, do I get the impression that if we just chill for half an hour that uh, our inspector friend's going to blow a fuse? Probably. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, probably best. We're on the RIC Nothing computer. Thing? Nothing. Th no, you're not. You're on, the, you're not on the RIC computer yet, you're not. Oh, we're on, we're the, on the Starport? The oh, yeah. You're on the Starport computer. So the interface computer, uh, my the base score, using. yeah, the, the the base score is eighty three. So for a level five, um, that's like a thirty percent chance of making that. So plus your I, own skills. What do you mean plus my own skills? Eighty three oh, is you, my uh, skill. Oh, easy skill. Sorry, I thought you had yeah. a higher skill than that. I mean, the, for display, the interface computer is a particularly tricky one. But I think that's yeah, the is. lowest, uh, yeah. apart from bypass security. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so we're looking at a thirty percent chance here, which is not great. Um, what, do, I, given my knowledge here, if I've tripped the intrusion to uh, prevention thing. If I fail at the interface, do I get the impression that alarms are going to go off? Depends how we're in trouble. By. Depends how yeah, okay. you fail by. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the risk reward here, um, and it doesn't look great. <laughs> well, that's yeah, you know, that's up to you guys. I'm just you know. Uh, the risk is that you could possibly put them on. Yeah, no, I say you don't do it because if the trade house, if the, this, if the, you know, the trade house even suspects that, you know, the inspector's onto them or that we're onto them, it, it, we're getting deported. Well, which trade house? The Rick the, trade the house? The off trading one. Like, because we were told not to, like. you know get caught by them is special. Yeah. Well, you got two you got two choices, cat. You got three choices actually. You got Rick, you got Vizlat and you got walking away and trying and, and, and doing it some some other way. Hmm. So, you know, it, it's up to you, mate, what you want to do. Yes. Actually, let me look something up. Uh, I sure. I forget I forget whether my uh, computer access computer gives me a bonus. It to... does. Mm. I thought so you were using it. No. Well, I I, 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 I wasn't applying that bonus to it. No, I don't um, think I don't think it would have mattered rolling a hundred. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the assistance to the interface. Do yes, you know what I the, know. Do you know what the bonus I... is? No. Uh, Not off the top of my head. Let me, look, let me look it up. Um. Over here. Yeah, mate.
Oh, balls. I can't get to the site. Uh, can't you? Uh, no. Um, can I get the site? Hang on a sec. Sorry, I've been. Oh, I was doing something while you were doing that, so let me see if I can get to the site. <sighs> I've got to get this fixed. No, I can't get to the site either. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, I, it looked like it wasn't just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'll do, I'll go into the original, uh, the original website and look at it from there. My actual raw, 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 um, raw HTML code. Ah, uh, yep. Where's the game? Where's my game site got to? Maybe this had to do when my with my first comment at the start of today's session with Cat being consistently below average. Maybe. I mean, the the interface computer is uh, it's it's a tricky mean. one. Yeah. I th I think it's twenty percent. I think most yeah, of okay. it's twenty percent from memory. Let's play it as twenty percent for the time being, because I I I'm. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, so I guess it. that's a 50-50 chance. Is it? Well, that means my base score would be 103. Uh, and it's a 5 computer. So, yep. So. so, you want to try it or not? I'll take that as a yes. So is that include what you need? Yeah. Yeah. So was that Rick or Vic? Rick or Vic? That was R that was Rick. That was Rick. Okay. So you've successfully co connected to Rick. What do you want to ask the Rick computer? Now. Uh We did have records about recently deceased employees uh, yes. so that we could find out have, the it names. Would, it, yeah. it would have those. Re uh, anything. So give me a display information. That's against a, compu a, fi a level 5 computer, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, um, you, 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 you've managed to find your way into the personnel records of Rick. Um, and you've managed to uh, locate um, the most recently deceased um, employees of uh, Rick. Um, the uh, records are encrypted, level five. <laughs> cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, so this. Uh, the, I, I'm not rolling this with the bonus for the computer access computer, so we'll just just play it by ear. Mm -hmm. That's a success. What is a success either way? Cool. Um, service records or medical records? Uh, 4K no no stops. Um, 4K no. <laughs> uh, let's go for I mean I would have to look at the medical records first to figure out who the deceased were so we'll go that way oh okay that's interesting uh, there's no there's information more, on why. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, um, no. Just no, no information on why. Um, that's th that's the distilled information. There's there's pages and pages of medical stuff. Was well, that um, how long we uh, like when I got when we all got our anti shock plant? Was that about how long it takes to get it in recovery? 
yeah, um, possibly. Uh, these uh, these aren't the guys. These aren't the the guys through the grenades. These are the guys in the in the car. So the autopsy report says yes, they died from massive internal um, injuries, most likely caused by smashing the car into the pylon. Yeah. Okay. Now there's tons and tons of information, but that piece there. So um, it sticks out. It sticks out. Interesting, and I, the, I, I'm assuming that the sanatorium is like a, a psychiatric type place. Um, do you want to look it up? Yeah, that's a good idea. We're at a computer. Uh, give me a second. It's gonna. I haven't got it prepared, but give me a second. <laughs> uh, where are we? Um, uh, there it is. There you go. Hmm. Stress alleviation therapy. Do you want the service record? Yeah. Do you want another roll? Uh, yeah, just a display info roll. And there's the service record. Sorry. There's the service record. Yeah, I was about to say... Uh... <laughs> executives sorry what was that I, I can't, you're gonna have to talk no that these are the two people in the car so they were uh, okay huh so why did they kill the Grange if Let's see, the Grange has done bioengineering. Hmm. It's almost like they killed him because they didn't like something he did. Well, they decided uh you know, they needed to do something outside of the law. Hmm. Which ended up being to kill Lagrange, because Lagrange was doing something with the Kales. Maybe Lagrange was helping them get their off-world support. Don't know. Interesting. Uh, looking up the Doctor is a good idea, as Ceres put in chat. Uh, go for your life. Give me the roll. Yeah. Um. It's. Uh, the um, lead medical me medical doctor and part owner of the High Peak Sanatorium um, residency at uh, Gozorf City um, Hospital several you know decades ago. Um, what else? Um, yeah, that's about it actually. Yeah, brief a brief bio. It's all public info. Yeah, it's all it's all Wikipedia type stuff. And, uh, human? Yes, human. Yes, human. But he works on Vrusk, basically. Well, apparently, yeah. Don't forget, it's only a very small percentage of the population who don't like each other. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right. Hmm. 
Is there anything else that people can think of that they want to look up while we're in the Rick computers? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm way too tired to think right now. Well, I mean, um, it's we've been playing for four hours. Okay, if we want to break there, that's probably a good spot to break it. If you want to yeah. go on for another another little while and do the do the do the Vizlat computer, if that's the one, you, if that's the one you're going to try and hack uh, connect to next. Um, we can do that now, but we can leave it till next week. It's up to you guys. I don't mind. I, I would like to leave it to Nets to Nets. To... Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. You want to? So we, we, you want to leave it now? Yeah, everyone. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If people yeah. are tired, then I think it's okay. a good, yeah, okay. good point to pause it. All right. Well, in that case, um, thanks everyone for playing. Uh, we'll see everybody in a fortnight's time. If you could play those uh, ending credits, please, Ryan, and we'll see everyone then. Thanks, everyone. That was great. Yep. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch, and, of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then... May your God go with you.